ステーション Hey, click the like button.
Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the stream. Today is March 16th, 2024. Hope you all are having a good day. If not, it's going to get better. Today is Saturday. Hope you all are having a good weekend so far. So far, so good. So far, so good. So good so far. Yes, yes, yes. Hope you're having a good day so far. Boink. Boink. <clears throat> oh. Saturday. That's a big picture right there. Let's put it up here. Do 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 do. Yep, my wife put in a request at the Buona Labs to print some uh, some bag chip clips. So I'm printing a batch of them. The last one I printed, we printed like a, like a year and a half ago, I think. They all stayed. They, they're starting to break on us. They only have so much usage. That was a different design I had though. So this design looks a little better. This was the most popular one on Prusa. Uh, I'm sorry, on Printables. Hello, Kniffin, Barton. Jared Blaze is here. Diedrich, welcome, welcome. Uh, Shogun, welcome everybody for coming by. Hope you all are having a great day. We're 3D printing. I put up a tweet of my latest 3D print. Put up a tweet of that thing right here. Oh, where's my picture? There are fired. Where are you? Here it is. And it is here. I said, check out this logo of Lego and also a light box logo of Lego with no lights yet, but his logo will light up soon. I like Lego, but I also like logos. So I 3D printed two logos of Lego. Lovely. That's up on the Twitters. Go click the like button or you're fired from no job. I, I'm not employed, not employing you. That one posted. Yeah, put that up there today. <laughs> Go click the like button up there. Or the, the heart button. Whatever it's called. Dun, 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 dun. So I think I figured out the problem with my, um, I think I figured out the problem with my YouTube chat acting weird. I think streamer.bot doesn't know what to do when you have two streams open. It's reading the chat, the non-existent chat from my vertical stream instead of the chat from my horizontal stream. And, uh, I noticed that because in streamer.bot, I have the option to change the title and stuff. And it's got the other one. It's got the vertical stream. So... I've got to figure that out. I got to submit a, I don't know if it's a bug. It's more like, how do I deal with this? Like, how do I tell it which stream to peak? If you got two streams going at once. So yeah, our Jolly's here. Welcome dude. How you doing? Hi mom and them. Good, good. Also, I did install, I was talking about a great new, uh, Filter by Finite Singularity. The guy puts out some great stuff. He uh, he's put out one called Retro Effects. Check this out. This one's called Frame Skip. I don't see anything with it though. Oh, there we go. Frames to skip. Ah ah ah! You're lagging. You're not lagging. You can let's see. Let's let's do uh, three three frames to skip. Oh man, and suddenly we're in the 90s. <laughs> uh, if I do if I do one frame, actually if one you, you start to notice it around two. And you go up to five. Ooh, we're max headroom. Go 
Go up to 15 frames. <laughs> These are some good ones though. And the one you may have seen this on the uh on the intro. Wait, that's not it. The interlace effect. Suddenly I'm interlaced. Ooh. Who remembers 1080i? I remember 1080i back when I was on uh <laughs> back when I was on uh what was that software? That was uh Wirecast. Oh my goodness, Wirecast did interlace. Do you combine it combine this with like low frame rate? Retro effects. Okay, so that's interlace. There's posterize. Yeah, that one's familiar. Posterize. There's a dither effect. Ooh. Such dithering. Unordered. Ordered. This is a CRT effect. I like this one a lot. We might keep this one. It has a, it has the, the the waviness. Is there a VHS one? Yeah, but not in this plugin. You want to see it? All right, hold on. That's called uh, that's an advanced mask. Not advanced mask. Ah, oh, that's a uh, user defined shader. Load from file. There's one called VHS. I remember this. VHS. There's a VCR and VHS. This is this is the VHS one. The VCR one is uh this one. This is VCR. Ooh. That vertical shift. Ah! V hold. V hold. So what you could do is add that, lower the color saturation, and read tech news from the 90s. You think people will buy it? You think people will buy it? You think they'll they'll be like, hey, this guy's from the past. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Where's that Rain Boys fil filter from Loose Yellow RCA Connections? Um, There's probably a name for that. Here's another one called NTSC. If you know, you know. If you know, you know, this is called NTSC. <laughs> oh man, I like this one. Yes. NTSC. Cathode boo cathoid cath cathode boost. Okay, I don't know anything with this. Ooh. Ooh. Vertical thickness, horizontal thickness, low size. My cathode. My cathode. Nor. Alright. Uh and this is Matrix Rain, so. Yeah, this one, you probably, you can guess what this one is. There I am. Hi. Hi, Neo. I think CRT might be my favorite, though. Because out of the box, I don't have to touch anything, and I love it. <laughs> Pal, man, I forgot I had to look that up. Yep. I, I was making so many of those nerd jokes when Pal World came out. I was like, where's where's NTSC World? <laughs> I 
Oh, CRT plus NTSC. All right, let me uh, let me rename this one to CRT, and then I'll do a new effect here. That's CRT. Let's do another retro effect. It'll be uh, NTSC. There you go. I'll put that on the bottom. No, it doesn't matter. I look sepia, like I'm in Mexico or something. <laughs> I can increase the band size, band strength. Oh man, now I'm on UHF. I'm on UHF. Move the antennas. Quick, get up there and hold the rabbit ears. No, we're losing the signal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the, the plugin is called Retro Effects. It's from uh, Finite Singularity. Like I said, he's done a lot of great plugins. I use like almost all of them. I retweeted on my Twitter. You can go Twitter to the tweet. I got a tweet. See it on there. But I immediately, I immediately installed. I like the, uh, I immediately like the CRT one, and I also like the uh, interlace one. Last tweet. Dot Buana. Yeah. Broken. There's a chromatic aberration one. Let me check that out. Hold on. Chromatic aberration. Red offset. Ooh. Yo, you could do some cool. Okay, dude. Hey, click the like button. You can do some cool stuff with this. Hold on. Hold on. Yo, I just had like 600 ideas. Do not adjust your set. Oh, man, this is cool. Wow. Did that in the CRT? I think this is what Krez was talking about with the uh with the, the the cables being loose you lose you get some of that chromatic aberration with the rca connection you get some of that 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 halo glow or it could be a 3d effect true 3d glasses yeah 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 Honk. 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 Oh, crazy. So, TV effect forever? Yeah, but want to keep it forever. All right. I think it's going to affect all my scenes because I did it on the. Ooh, I did it on the wrong scene. I'm a tail. Now all my cameras are selected or man, everybody's on TV. No, no, no. What if I can do my 3D printer with that? Which one would be a good one for the 3D printer chat? What do you think? Let's see, I can do a retro effect. Should I do a interlace on this one. Okay. Oh, lines. Interlaced. I think if you do interlace plus CRT, you got a winner. For real. You are on a Sony C you are on a Sony T T F T F was it Sony TV? Yes. Trinitron, yes. Dude, I love that TV. Oh man, I used to, I used to, ooh. That's all I gotta say about that. All right, this one will be, uh, this one is, you know I mean? Well, I could do a frame skip on this one and it would mess everybody up. One of your 3D printers broken. Ha ha ha. 
<laughs> He's doing the robot. You work so hard, right, to get this, uh, <laughs> you work so hard to get this, this brilliant light -like camera with 1080p, 60 FPS, and then you put filters on it to make it look like it's from the 80s and 90s. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> Why would you do that? Right, I'm gonna leave him there just for, for giggles. Um, I gotta, I gotta put this on a different thing because I'm putting it on the main camera scene and it's affecting everybody. So maybe I could just do it on the scene. I don't know. OBS logic, man, it's weird. Anywho, remove. That is retro effects. Go check them out. Finite Singularity has done it again. Pull out the dazzle and plug in your VHS camcorder. I don't have, well, it's, I got one in the garage, but I, I have zero confidence it works. <laughs> we watched some original Star Wars untouched by George Lucas's stupidity. I have those VHS or do I? There's somewhere. There's somewhere. Do I sound like I'm on old time radio? Oh, you put some voice effects with this? Dude, do a sepia tone? Dude. Dude, let me see if I can get another shader. Dude, I gotta be careful because if I go nuts with shaders, it'll crash OBS if you're not careful. There's a glitch effect, but it might be too 2020. Ah! No. Chat. We didn't pay our cable bill. Good times. That's another one. Color depth. TR2 curvature. Yeah, I, I had some user-defined shaders for some of these. There's another CRT. So I got two double CRTs. Emboss. Fill color gradient. Ah! Half of my face is white. There's an analog glitch. Ooh. Do not adjust your pixels. Oh, snap. I got to give seizure warnings in a bit. I got to be careful here. Color drift amount. Dude, there's so much here. So much. It looks like an analog glitch. Like your cables are jacked up. Oh. I like these these things like this. I just play with them all day. Posterize. They call cartoon effect. Ah! Hmm. 
do not adjust your set. You're watching BNN News, broadcasting through space on the 369 Battle Waves. Tell your mama, tell your daddy, tell your sister, tell your daddy, tell everybody to tune in. Don't adjust your vehicular. Make sure you call your mother, kiss her twice on the cheek, Make sure you take them biscuits out the oven and fold them clothes and take them out the dryer like mama said. Take out the trash too. Trash man coming tomorrow. Don't you have the land before time on VHS? I do. I do. Three stars. What a movie. Yeah, we're just going to use this camera from now on. What's wrong with Buona? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, we got to unlock Bob now. Wait, where's Bob? 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 Wait, Bob is unlocked. Hold up. Bob? What do you mean? <laughs> What do you what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Bob. Bob. Is he always this annoying? No. Thanks, work B for lighting that tweet about the Lego Legos. Lego Legos. My printer. It's done already? Now I gotta figure something else to print. Man! It was 30 minutes. Yeah, it was really quick. I will go pick it up. And we got to find something else to print now. That's, that should last us. Okay. <laughs> Turn all this effects off. I come back and look at it and I was like shock. Okay, so they came out great. Um, I showed them to my wife, so we're gonna put them to the test. These are little like little chip clips. I printed 10 of them, 12, 10 or 12 of these. For like your bags and stuff. You need to use a slower printer here. Maybe I do. 
Hey, thanks, Pink Sapphire, for liking my tweet. All right, what else do we need to print? Na, na, da, da, na, na, na. Looks like I'm watching Born do a doorbell camera. <laughs> Hello, mother. Hello, father. How are you doing today? That is one fat crocodile. I like it. What's wrong with Moana? What happened to him? Well, he slipped on a banana peel. That's all I got to say about that. But my intro screen looks better now. I put a... Um, I put a what you call it on it. I put the interlace effect on the on the, on that screen and also on the BRB screen. Is there interlaced effect on that one? That might bother some people, but it's so nostalgic for me. I don't know, man. It's weird. I just like that effect from for nostalgia. Back then, I hated it, but and then when they got rid of it, it was everything just seemed so crystal clear. When we first saw like flat screen TVs, and we were like. <gasps> There's no wavy lines anywhere. And now it's like, you know, whatever. All right, chat. What are we printing? What are we printing? Nothing complicated because I don't feel like troubleshooting. Something simple yet good. Oh, my gosh. Need the effect of playing PS1 games on the CRT TV when streaming games. I could put on my retro scene. That's a good idea. I have a retro. Um, this is my retro scene. So I guess on the game when I do a when I do a uh, when I do a retro game, I can we can make it the CRT effect. So when we actually play PS1 games, it will look like it'd be in the CRT. Do a slight CRT bend and really kick in that nostalgia. Okay. So let me go here. Actually, I can do it off. I'll do it on a. I don't want to do that. That'd be mean. Go to studio mode and go to intro. Background filter. Add. Retro effect. CRT. Okay. Can you. Boom, sir. That's for layout. Corner radius. Barrel distortion. Okay, there we go. Actually, I can show you while I'm doing this. So you guys can tell me when to stop. So if I go to uh, intro. It's on there now, but you can't see see it because the image is so big I need to truncate it um oh man yeah this is a this is a this image is ultra wide so I'd have to I'd have to do another image for that to work actually sadly yeah, I'm gonna do another image. Gonna have to do another image because that one is ultra wide and the CRT filters is gonna be way on the edges. So, I'll have to figure that out. We could do some teleport rewards. That one do that. We do a channel point reward for like a CRT effect. Yeah. <laughs> you 
No, let me put the whole scene on it. Copy. If I do the whole scene, how's that gonna look? Ah, that looks better. If I do everything, not just the, the camera. This actually looks better, even though half of it is illegible. But that's how it was back in the day. Why do you think our eyes are so good today? <laughs> tee hee, tee hee, tee hee. You know, after I got a 3D printer, I wish I could play the guitar because everybody was printing guitar picks. Guitar picks, guitar picks. Like, I don't play the guitar. Sir. Ooh, a fidget toy. Joy Fidget version 2.0. The thumb fidgeter. Is this... Oh, you got to put it together? I got time for that. I'm just kidding. I still got the 17 inch CRT monitor in the closet. You can make a double CRT filter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, retro effects by finite singularity. The Legend of Zelda. What to print? What to print? I need a need to satisfy a necessity. Exclamation point go with on the chat. We still need your help. We're at 20, 21%. 21%? Yeah, 21% of our goal. Thank you so much for everybody who's contributing so far, who has contributed. Sega. But we definitely need the help. Um, the funds are very, very low. Build collectors are at the door. I'm waving at them. They're going. I'm going. So you guys know how it is. Times can get tough sometimes. We haven't hit our goal since December. So it's starting to add up, literally adding up. So uh, definitely need some help. Yeah, if, if you guys can provide it. We'll try to do a long stream today. Yesterday I did like a 10, 11 hour, almost 12 hour stream. Sick Ken on them. Kent, Kent won't sick anything. He's too, he's too sweet. He's not a guard dog. Though I don't know. We haven't been put in that situation yet. I don't know what he'll do. He would lick him to death. He would love them to death. That's for sure. He doesn't do a lot of licking. He's not licking. He's like not really a licking dog. But he will love them to death. Why? Mm. Articulating bunny. Oh, it's Easter season. A lot of a lot of Easter three D prints are coming out now. Chat, my birthday's coming up. What y'all gonna give me? Oh, you are? Wow, that's sweet. Thank you. I, I won't tell anybody what you said, though. Fine. It's our secret.
Does pixel art look as good as it did on CRT TVs with this CRT effect? Probably not. It's going to be hard to recreate that. Get your Steam wishlist in order. I really do. I need to do that anyway. I need to purge that. And re-up and update it. All right. I can't find anything in the trending. Oh, that looks good. What are you talking about, boy? I will show you. I wonder if I can just color that within the... Within the slicer, I'm really bad at coloring stuff. Let me see if someone on Maker World has already done it. Sega. Looks like they have. Super credits. Oh. But I don't have Blick. Oh, actually, I can do that with blue, right? Blue, yellow, and white. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta load up the blue though. I don't think I have blue loaded. Yeah, Chad, I think we can do this. Republic credits? Republic credits are no good here. I need something more real. This is not an A1. Oh, they do ironing on top surfaces. Oh. Arachne. I remember that. Ironing on top surface. Top surface. Okay. That's a good idea if you're doing something like this. All right. I'm going to go load the blue real quick. Yes. this oh enterprise stuff you trekkers are trekky
Oh, what? Hmm. I gotta jot that down. We're on blue, yellow, white. So blue here, yellow, white. Perfect. Okay. We have loaded it. Splice. This is going to take an hour. Blue. Hello. Wow, it's actually perfect. I didn't have to change anything. There it goes. All right, move this image and update it so people will know what we are printing because Buona never updates his what's printing command, so you might as well have some else down there. This. So big. I told you he never updates it. <laughs> Why do I have two different songs playing? No. Nope. Okay, cool. So let me like this one over here. And, and I think I just closed the wrong tab. Reopen, close tab. Yes. I need to like this one. I got to post photos of all these things I've been printing so I can get my printables credit. So I can get a, a more loot and filament. From those guys speaking of filament exclamation point polymaker and chat we are sponsored by polymaker see the logo in the middle you don't i'll make it bigger watch 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 that's not it that's it watch yo look how big that is boy look at that boy that's a good boy polymaker supplying all the filament for me we got some black coming in and purple I'm planning on printing a Twitch logo. Oh, yes. I forgot. I need to do a YouTube logo as well. Twitch, YouTube. I want to do a live space logo. So I need pink. All these things I want to hang behind me. I think live space is pink. Some variation of Fuchsia. Something like that. Magenta? I don't know what it is. They probably have the color code somewhere. They probably do have the color code somewhere. I don't know where it is, though. T-Mobile color? Yeah, it reminds me of T-Mobile. Because it is, and they do have like a uh, asset press kit thing. I think it has the the hex codes in there somewhere. I think I want to do something a little different today. I'm feeling saucer, saucer, like. Combination tartar sauce and mango chutney. That's nasty when you think about it. Where is their logo? You know what's messed up is that I have, I think I've downloaded their zip file like six times and it's just called logo. Oh, that's not it. That's Deep Rock Galactic. I think it's just called Logo. I don't think it's. I don't think the name Live Space is anywhere in the file name. 
Media kit simple. Uh, yeah. Logo Raven Dawn. Oh, it's Raven Dawn. Raven Dawn. Raven Dawn. Images. Merch. Oh, I think this is them. Yeah, this is it. It is called logo. Because the thing is, is that Google Drive just names folders and names of zip files. So if you go full logo, click. Icon white. Dude, what, what is that? What is this color? What is that? What are you, how are you, how are you doing that? I guess I can open up an affinity and just dropper it. that that's what i'm about to do shogun the dropper says ff0070 he's right pretty much pink it is pretty much pink now, what does Polymaker have that's close to that? I wonder. What does Polymaker have that's close to that? Nothing in Polylight. Maybe it's in their uh, Luminous PLA? No, Luminous is like... There's a luminous pink. Dark reader's messing up everything again. Oh wait, no it's not. Why is that? No, that's not it. Maybe it's in the Cos PLA. Nah, Cos PLA is only stuff you're gonna paint. No. Maybe I should ask Nick. Like, Nick, y'all got something close to this? They do have a Polymaker application. But I don't think it'll match colors. This one is DE1619. I can't print ASA. It has to be PLA. This is close. This is uh, E93A3F. I think that's probably the closest one. But I think a lot of the the, the um, pastel colors are polyterra. They're not poly light. I don't think they have a lot of past pastel and poly light. Yeah, the magenta would probably be good too, but it's out of stock. They still haven't got any more black in stock either. I think I'll do magenta when it comes back in stock. This is close. This is F2306E. F2306. Wait. F2306E. Yeah, that's it. Is that a paintbrush? The heck? happening yeah here it is nope that's the wrong one f23 yeah so that's very close that's very close that's almost identical 
really. I mean, you can kind of see the difference if you zoom way in, but for a logo, that's going to be fine. Magenta it is. Can I do Polymax? Yeah. Polymax will always bend instead of breaking. Okay, yeah, I can do that. But I don't want pink. I think this this color here is probably uh too pink. Let me, let me see. Yeah, it's kind of bright. The magenta is closer. This one's too bright. You can you can easily see it when I color over the logo. Whereas this one blends in a lot more. Magenta it is. Magenta. Yes. Magenta. Okay. Um, I was thinking about doing something different today. I don't know what. Um, I want to race. I want to drive. That's not different. That's samey. Want to race. Rally. No, my arms aren't ready for, for rally. Um... We could do Bellatro, maybe? No. 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 We're probably going to end the Nine on Hell Divers. Those of you thinking about justice and democracy. That's going to get played, but it'll probably be like at the end of the stream. Probably. Um, <laughs> Republic credits. <laughs> what are you guys buying? Let me check the steam. Let's check the Steam list. What are you guys buying? Pioneers of Pagonia. Grand Blue Fan Fantasy. Remix or Relink. Lots of people are playing that. Anybody here playing that? Grand Blue Fantasy. Grand 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 Blue the Fantasy thing? Anybody playing that? Uh, out of the park baseball 25 uh, what happened to 24 <laughs> command and conquer Niffin's buying truck stuff DLCs on sale. Makes sense. And you know they added voice chat to tribes? I didn't even know that. I saw that article today. They had a voice chat. I'm like, voice chat? The tribes? And it's on by default. That's gonna go over well. Chat's bot. Oh, and they put in like a spam protection for VGS. I thought that was insulting. I'm like, how dare you? How dare you? How dare you limit my VGS? All right, where is all that? Ugh, pardon. Uh, 
All right. Well, I do want to do a video on helldivers.io. Let's do that first. Here's the thing, though. I don't know what I'm talking about yet. But I got to look at the site. It'll be winging it if I don't look at the site. <laughs> Borderlands 3 on Epic? Yeah, I think I already have it. I think I already have... I might have to log in. I haven't been on here in a while. Yep. I gotta log in. Bless ye. Bless ye. What is my Epic Games password? Huh? There it is. can't find me number for the thing. I need to organize it. I'm going to sort in alphabetical order. Oh, there it is. Oh. Spring sale on Epic Game Store, too. So yeah, I think I do have Borderlands on here already. Fortnite is trying to update. Nay. Three. Can I search my library? Alphabetical. Why is it only... Oh. Oh, it's only showing installed. There we go. Borderlands starts with a B. Yep, I do have it on... Oh, no, I don't want to install it. I have it on uh, Epic already. I got so many games on here. <laughs> All these free games. This is so funny how many free games I have on Epic. I don't think I've paid money for any of them. They don't have my payment information. That claim Deus Ex? Probably not, because I already have it. I have it on. I have all of them. No, I didn't claim it. There it is. Free now. I'll claim it now. Enter creator tag. Boom. Use creator code Buona when you check out. I do have an epic uh, thing, by the way. I do. The bridge. Do I have this? I do now. Wait, to get is grayed out. Huh? Oh. The whole page was great. That was weird. I have the bridge now as well. Neat. Mankind divided. Do I? Wait. Hold up. I might not have that one. I do have it. Never mind. I don't think I've played it though. I don't have any hours listed on Steam. But I don't think I've played it. But now I have two copies. That's weird looking. That is really weird looking. That Fall Guys with the cup head stuff. They got two heads. Did you guys see they're making a live action Among Us? movie how's that work
How you how you gonna do that? All right, I gotta get rid of Epic Game. I don't want any pop-ups coming from that. Hey, how, how, how you doing that? What would be like the movie Clue? <laughs> I don't know, man. All right, let me poke around here and see if there's anything new. Galactic War Superstore. Restock time. Uh, that's this is part I like. Pretty good. I like the stats. This is this is cool. You can see the player count, liberation, progress, and all that stuff. If you go Galactic War, you can see that we have to do drop near. If you click on drop near, it takes you to that. The liberation goes up. History. All right, let's record this really quick video. Greetings, Hell Diver. Hi. Have you ever been at work or somewhere outside of your house or away from your computer and or Steam Deck and be like, "Man, I wonder what's going on with the Hell Divers things on the on the Twitch on 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 the video game thing?" And you're like, "I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I can tell." Well, now you do. Break out your whoopee phone or your tablet or something and go to helldivers.io. That's right, helldivers.io. This is not a commercial. But anyway, this is a great site to get the status on what's going on with the Hell Divers status and progression. You can see what the current major order is. You can see what the status is. You can see what the current superstore items are all in one spot. It's got a nice little map on it, which has like the status of it. And you can see which areas are red, which ones are being taken over. You can go to, down here to drop near. And you can hover over and it sees how many players there, uh, Super Earth Forces, and et cetera, et cetera. The thing I like about it the most is that if you're really interested in a current uh, occupation, if you will, you can just click on the planet name and it'll take you to detailed stats as to what's going on. You can see the rate of the player count, liberation percentage, regen percentage, and efficiency of what's happening. Uh, when we were trying to unlock the mechs, during that one campaign, I was on the site quite a bit, trying to check out the status of everything. And if you want to see what's in the Superstore, click on the Superstore thing at the top. And from here, you can see what's on sale and for how much. You can see the stats, the defense, the speed and stamina, um, and what the passive is. In this case, this one right here increases initial inventory and hold the capacity of stems by sign, bonus. But yeah, you get the idea. So if you want to look at what's in the Superstore, you can do that on helldivers.io as well. And they got general stats as well. So if you want to see the stats on a particular planet, let's just say Wraith. Click on Wraith. There's nothing there. Uh, I don't know. Veil. I'm trying to find something with some status here. Let's just go to Meridia. We were doing Meridia yesterday. Meridia. Yeah. So you can see the stats on Meridia. What happened? What's going on with the Liberation? and all that good stuff really good site man helldivers.io if you want to ch check out what's happening in helldivers but you don't have access to the game and you want some sort of a way of term determining what's happening with the stats and the liberation and efforts and all that stuff you can do so at helldivers.io really easy site support the author by going to this ad free link you can go to their discord become a discord member and they will remove all these wondrous ads that you see on the website so consider supporting the author if you do use this website quite often all right guys thanks so much for watching and uh check out hell divers io and i'll see you next time i've been wanting to record that for three days i don't know why i haven't
Dun, 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 dun. This thing's going to be done soon. What are we going to do today, man? Exclamation point Goloth on the chat. We're raising money, chat. Believe it or not, we are. We need help. We need money. We need to pay meals. Try not to be a bother about it, but we do it during the Golathon. We don't do it all the time, not throughout the whole month. And we appreciate everybody who can contribute whatever way they can. But uh, if I don't tell you guys about it, you don't know. So just want to let you know we are in need of some assistance with the, the exclamation point Golathons. And we appreciate everybody who's helped so far. More information, exclamation point Golathon in chat, which we've already done. <clears throat> I'm starting to lose my voice, which means I'm talking quite a bit. I'm a yapper, so if my voice is going, I must have been... Well, I did stream for almost 12 hours yesterday. That'll do it, too. And I wasn't silent the whole time. I was, I was yapping. So I'm a yapper. Definitely, uh, definitely a, a, a yapper. Um, do 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 Episode 9 is up on YouTube, by the way, of Final Fantasy. That's what I played yesterday. We did uh, the Fort... Fort. I can't remember the Fort stupid name. The little stupid mini game. We did that in Final Fantasy 7 yesterday. That is up on the YouTubes. Just went live not too long ago. And episode 10 is going to go up tomorrow. We recorded two things yesterday. Two of them. Um, that's not, Fort Condor, thank you. I just, I don't know why I can't remember the name of the fort. Also, if you guys want a good racing game, a set of Corsa Ultimate Edition is $8. That's a lot of racing game for pennies. You get a lot of add-ons and DLC. If you get the Ultimate Edition, you can do online competitive racing with it too. Dag, what's up? Why? Welcome. I want to watch your experience, but I can't play that since I'm holding off. All right. Gotcha. Understood. Understandable. Why farm super credits when you can just print them? Exactly. It would be like the federal government. I trust you're having a blast with it, though. Yeah, I am. I am. I am. A lot of fun. It's a lot of game, too. I'm I'm taking my time, but I'm getting a little bit discouraged as to the scope and whether I can finish it this year. Because I'm only playing like a couple hours a day, and it's like, it's a, it's a long game. So. But I'm not tired of it yet. That's good. I'm not tired of it yet. Okay, 
what are we gonna do man uh i need to come up with a game plan man with the game i'm tempted to fire up tribes but endless will disown me <laughs> i miss tribes but i hate the nouveau uh let's see finally got the final page of the standard war bond from uh scorcher got the scorcher how you like it how you like it i'm just starting the second page myself well i got i got most of the first page and start the second page really good oh i'm motivated now i'm motivated now gotta get that new gun yeah dun 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 I'm motivated now. It's a DMR, but it has a small AOE because of its arc damage is so good. Oh, that sounds borderline illegal. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh my gosh, that's ooh, I feel delicious. That's like a fine wine. Been sitting in a barrel in the back of a warehouse for 1400 years. You take said wine, you gently remove it from the barrel, and you pour it in a nice glass. And you proceed to swish it and sip it. I don't know where that came from. But I like it. Um, I do some retro today. Maybe we can play some Sinistar. Run, coward! Be where I live. Sinister Star is great. I love that game. So hard, though. I, I don't think I've killed him more than three times. I can't get past that. It's just... There's so much to dodge, man. Rear, welcome! Good to see you. Hello. we're trying to figure out what we're gonna do like what to play and or do i've already recorded one video that's the only one i have planned for today um and we're 3d printing some stuff from hell divers printing some credits super credits uh i don't know PS5 Pro is reportedly coming this holiday season. No thanks. I don't think I've ever bought a Pro PS PlayStation. I've only had the originals and maybe a slim version, but never a Pro version. Did you make a Dragon Dogs Must 2 character? No, I did not. Emmett Selk? They made Emmett Selk in there? I hear it's good, though. I heard the character creator is really good.
people are making all kinds of celebrities in that that uh that creator here it's pretty good here it's pretty good do not adjust your set told you i got this i fixed your tv it was having some issues all right i'm getting thirsty this is why i never finished my cup of coffee i get halfway through my coffee and i want water One of the best CCs ever. Um, my only issue is how the gear doesn't reflect that CC that well sometimes. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. I'm leaning towards either tribes or um something to do before we do hell divers. I'm kind of getting in the mood for like an uh, RPG or MMO type deal too. I think Final Fantasy 7 is the blame for that. Um, there's a lot of things I need, I still need to record in Final Fantasy 14, not to do with the game itself, but more for my YouTube channel. Um. I kind of want to get into something like that. That's why we're, we're talking about possibly doing something in Minecraft. Trying to find a really, really good RPG progression Minecraft mod, but I don't know if any out there. And I think the last time we looked, there was like some that were abandoned and some that were average and some that were buggy. That was like the three categories, buggy, abandoned or average. Nothing that was like good and working. It was either average and working or not working.
I guess we can play Final Fantasy 7 too. That's another thing. Just record some episodes of that. Get that out of the way for the YouTube channel and just get progress going. Um, but yeah, I'm in the mood for like a RPG. I mean, we had Raven Dawn for a while and I got I got distracted away from that, but Raven Dawn was really fun. Raven Dawn was really, really fun. But um, just got distracted with other games. Like right now, Helldivers is like number one on my brain and then followed by Final Fantasy VII and then followed by like iRacing and Acela Corsa and Truck Sim. <laughs> just so many games. Too many games. Too many games. Most people that didn't want Final Fantasy VII Remake spoilers probably finished the game twice by now. Yeah. Uh, a majority of the people in the community are probably six to seven chapters ahead of me. So I'm going at a good pace in terms of avoiding spoiling people. Except for the people who just aren't going to, they're going to wait for all three to come out. I've been looking one excuse to properly learn Java, so making an RPG mod would be fun. However, my current workload would be finished by 2046. Yeah, that's a long time. <laughs> that is a definite long time. Okay. After this print, we'll probably... Uh, we're looking to possibly play in some uh, Final Fantasy, I guess. And then we'll do Hell Divers after that again. Maybe. Maybe there's a free game I can play that doesn't cost money. Because you know that's what free is, right? That's the definition of free. Man, I'm at 40 hours of hell divers already. Wow. We should do Genshin Impact. Mm, I don't know. I think if I do a game like that, it'll be like that um Grand Blue Fantasy game that we were talking about earlier. Maybe if I'll maybe I'll do that. I don't think that's free though. That's like 40 bucks or something. Right? Grand Blue Fantasy. Yeah. Oh, 60 bucks. Never mind. That thing is 60 bucks, boy. Wow. $60. A lot of, a lot of clamps. That's, that's a lot of clamps. You have that. an x1 nope is a p1p it is the cheap little brother that did not graduate high school <laughs> but we love him we love him I'm kind of moved for MMO, but I need a new one, I think. Yeah. 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 A good new one. That's why I was I was big on Raven Dawn for a while. But that was fresh. But then I kind of got sidetracked. I might go back to it. A part of me, a big part of me, and this is 
it's almost like a ripcord for me. It's like, I just want to go race. I'll be a full-time sim racer. <laughs> just, just get, just completely engulf myself in sim racing and just never come out. Just, I'm serious, man. I'm, I'm about, I'm about 75% there. Cause gaming is, I'm getting, uh, I, I, I can truly say this with impunity and with, and with conviction. I'm getting too old for gaming. I'm getting too old for this. Is just throw me in a in a car so I can have my video game midlife crisis. You know. <laughs> I had to RMA a part of my deck, so attached to a dock in this primary PC for a few weeks. Oh wow. My options are limited, like multiplayer, but it does well with RPGs. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think I'm the only one without a Steam Deck. The whole dev team is now pointed at, at Star Citizen. Never know we can have an actual game soonish. Oh, what happened with uh with the uh, single player game? It's done. When's it come out? I want to play that. Anybody a paint connoisseur? Is there a way I can turn off the flashbang on this? Just default windows paint, like. I know I could just paint, I could just like bucket a black in here and be done with it, but I, I'd like for it to be default because that every time I launch this, it, it, it burns a hole in the wall. You might need Windows 11. Just going with the last big event to say they're moving everyone to SC and final polish with Quadrant 42 being done. <sighs> How do you change the oh? I'm confused on that. I don't even know how to use paint. What is happening? Oh, there we go. The heck. <laughs> so we got option one. And then option two. Option one is to stick with current. Oh, wait. There we go. Does this work? 
Do, 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 do. Stick with current. I do like Helldivers 2. The occasional Final Fantasy 7. Remake. Um... And like, uh, just chatting. Podcast, etc. Right. Or we just become race man. Wait, that's a bad idea. Don't say race, man. Sim racer. This reminds me of school. <laughs> Dude, do you know how much we did whiteboarding when I was in, in corporate America? If we talked about what time we had to go to the bathroom every day, somebody got a pen out, went up to the whiteboard, started drawing. Yeah. So we got I think if I make this thicker it'll be easier. That's the thickest it'll go. We don't have a whiteboard, so we use the window. There you go. Yep. Yippers. Can I just make my background black and then just use like Epic Pen? How do I? I don't know how to do backgrounds anymore. I think I'm using Display Fusion for that, aren't I? Desktop wallpaper. Yeah, this is overriding window stuff. Um, I should add it to custom colors. It's not too late. Add to custom. Oh, there it is. Bam. No. Whatever, I don't care. It just has to be a dark blue and purple, whatever. Fine. Okay. Now, I can just break out Epic Pen. And I'm good. I don't need no, no stupid. I, I don't, I don't need no stupid. Update available. Nobody cares. It's your stupid update available. All right. Let's see if I remember. Go to my BNN days. White. I used to be faster with this. All right. So there we go. A little bit laggy, but all right. So option one, then we got option two. Lag is awful. So we got too many games. Too many 
I gotta do slower. Game. Right? Option two, Sim Racer. We dump everything and we pour our life, liberty, and justice into driving a race car online. Coal tires, coal tires. And then we got podcasting too here, which will also exist on the other one. Right, so podcasting here too. Coal tires, coal tires. Yeah, those are my options. Well, let me clean up my desktop. When I do a lot of image stuff, I just drag and drop to my stuff to my desktop like I'm actually working. I got all these erroneous image files on here now. So I need to just move them all to my pictures folder so I can forget about deleting them earlier or later. Bunch of WebP files. Put those in pictures. Replace, I don't care. Some P and goods. Pictures. Uh, JPEGs. Pictures. And now my desktop's pretty much clean. The rest of the stuff is just like shortcuts I don't need. Oh, we got some AVFs here that nobody cares about. So delete all of that. Delete. Five, three, five, okay. All right. So the life of a sim racer consists of the following. Just so you guys know, sim racer, sim racer consists of the following racing. Okay. That's number one. That's number one, racing. Number two, starving. Why starving, Buona? Well, when you sim race, you lack this thing called money because you spend it all on peripherals and stuff. So food is no longer optional or mandatory it's optional but the positive side is that you'll lose weight because you don't have to worry about eating the downside is that death is possible if you starve to death to starvation you never want to let it get that far though that's a no-no you don't want it to get that far right and the third thing about sim racing is that you will always lose there is no winning in baseball okay doesn't that sound great? No? A little line here to denote where my picture is. I don't want to write before that. I think that's great. That's a great life. So current is what I'm doing is that I'm doing too many games. Hashtag too many. What is this lag doing with my writing, dude? Many games. This is so slow.
Epic Pen just got slow. I used to love this. Now it's like, why is it so slow? I did BNN. I did 700 BNN episodes with this. All right. So too many games. That means I'm playing 3,000 games. All right. Um, we're also doing uh, BNN news. Right. And we're also doing 3D printing. My eyes are just bad because of the lag. Uh, uh. That's what we're doing right now. Too many games being in news. And the problem with this is that this right here stunts my growth. This stunts your channel's growth. Because you're constantly bouncing between game to game to game to game to game to game to game and i've been doing this for 15 plus years and i know that for a fact yeah i still do it why 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 does he keep doing it i don't know i just do it anyway because i i don't know um so but the thing is, is that a lot of the regulars even though this stunts growth you do you gain regulars from this You get people that will stick around no matter what you play. And these are the gold. This is the gold right here. This is gold. That's not a G. That's not what my mouse just did, dude. Gold. I like gold. Wait, 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 wait. For, for effect. For effect. Gold. When you get them regulars, that's gold, man. Right. And that's pretty much 90% of you guys in chat right now. 90% of you guys in chat, you guys show up. If I'm playing tic-tac-toe or Scrabble, you're here. Or you'll, at least you'll drop by and say hi. So that's the current thing. And Minesweeper too. This is actually working. I looked at my numbers in terms of like ad revenue and it doubled from last month. So I went from 15 cents to 30 cents. <laughs> but that's good. That's good. That's good. You okay that girl? Okay. Um, That's good though. Cause I pumped out like seven videos a day for like two weeks and YouTube had no choice, but like y'all better pay this man. So I made 30 cents out of 15. Um, this is something 3d printing is something that I'm, I'm catching up. I'm catching back up on because I, I fell behind. We fell behind on 3d printing because of, uh, a number of factors. My ease and eyes are just hurting. Uh, but we're catching up and it was mainly due to multicolor printing and I installed some stuff wrong. Had some filament issues, had some down printers. My shop basically closed. And we're trying to get that reopened. And the shop closed due to copyright. It was a trademark. Trademark forced my shop to close because I printed some Batmans that were too good. And Warner Brothers was like, you can't do that. So I got a cease and desist from them. I had to close the shop down because it didn't stop with Warner Brothers. It kept going, it kept going. So I was like, well, I guess somebody's got their eye on me. So I got to shut down my shop. So my 3D printing shop got shut down. Still to this day, I don't know how that happened. But because I'm just this lowly guy who sold like five prints a month and they just came after me so it is what it is um but we're getting that reopened we're gonna get that reopened especially since we got multicolor prints now uh so these two things i don't anticipate crap you can't see that i need a bigger whiteboard hr i don't these things aren't going away
I gotta just write slower because I don't know why this is so laggy. They aren't going away. No matter what I do. Because that can happen off stream or on stream or whatever. So 3D printing and BN news aren't going away. Too many games though. I'm getting too old for this, chat. We're getting too old. We're getting too old for this, man. Um So I gotta I gotta we gotta make a decision on video game wise what we're gonna focus on and we got to stay focused on that that doesn't mean i'm going to stop playing other games don't get me wrong but when it comes to like just focusing on the game becoming you know a voice of it in the community basically developing a niche we used to call it main game back in the day um given the, the state of the environment and how things are and how i'm struggling to to keep people's attention span that's why i'm like I had the most fun with sim racing because sim racing is my demographic. All the gray beards unite. Uh, you know, fellow midlife crisis crisis folks, our, fe our fellow fifty year olds. You know. Uh, it has a really high skill ceiling, so you'll get a lot of uh, satisfaction from the, from just keeping at it. Really high skill ceiling, right? Um, so these are pluses right here. The minus is starvation. But a positive could be that if I do establish myself, I can get more additional sponsors. This is a space where a sponsorship can thrive with wheels and rigs. If I grow enough, I'll get the attention of the right companies and that kind of stuff. So that could alleviate that could alleviate this. Um, and it's a it's a wide range of options so i say sim racing but this you could just take the word sim out and that can apply to just about anything so you got a wide range you can do flight you can do truck You can do train, you do car. So anything vehicular that has to do with some sort of a wheel input, yoke, flight stick, that kind of stuff. Uh, and space too. I forgot space. Space sim. <laughs> Power wash. I just finished my rig build picks in Discord. Yeah, I saw it. I saw well, I saw the uh the progress. Train racing, I'm in train. <laughs> There's no such thing as train racing in current year. They may have been in the past. But yeah, um ser serious talk though. It's 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 challenging to keep up like with all the new games that come out and staying relevant in gaming in 2024 is tough it's tough because you got to stand out in a crowd of Billion, seems like billions of, of content creators. Somehow you have to stand out. Like for example, with Final Fantasy VII Remake, right? That's a new game, fits in my wheelhouse and does a whole lot of cool things, right? In terms of like what the game does. I just don't exist in that, in that. Even though I love the game and stuff like that, but when it comes to content creation and stuff, 
and this is not me dogging myself or anything it's just the truth i just don't exist in final fantasy 7 land because i, I i'm not known for that i'm known from final fantasy 14 you know the 14 crowd knows me from what i've done over the years but final fantasy 7 I, I just don't exist you know and i'm putting a lot of time into um i'm just in final fantasy 7 i'm I, I don't exist right basically don't exist i'll say basically again this isn't me dogging myself it's just reality i basically don't exist and i'm putting a lot of time into it i'm putting well over three to four hours a day into a game where i don't exist in hopes that it can create a path to growth but it ain't it ain't so um lots of time so that's not a good formula when you when you when you're putting time into something and you don't exist and you're not growing it's not a good formula right exactly single player games are odd uh, they're, they're really hard to do um especially in current years single player games are an anomaly it, a lot of times and just with final fantasy 7 rebirth it's like single player games uh their forte is nostalgia right They're driven by nostalgia most times. Right? They're pretty much driven by nostalgia. They're either a remake of a previous game or some sort of a, a, a game that's in the same genre as something that you loved. It could be a Souls-like. It could be an ARPG. It could be a Final Fantasy VII game, or fi or I'm sorry, a JRPG, right? So genres will generally awaken nostalgia. Like, oh, this game is like so and so. This game is like XCOM. This game, this game is like Sinistar. We were talking about Sinistar later. So single player games are they're driven by nostalgia, right? And in 2024. It's all about live service games, which consist of a lot of different types of games, right? It could be uh, free to play, uh, shooter slash BR. That's Tarkov fits in that. Um, these, this is where this is where the gamers are: free to play, shooter, BR. Um, or I guess you, I'm going to call them ARPGs, but, um, R E G's, but this could be, this is not just top down. This is like MMOs, like Genshin. Genshin like games and, um, gotcha games action like gotcha games right that encompasses all of that and then you got like world of warcraft and i'm not gonna mention world of warcraft and final fantasy 14 but i think those are dying off in 2024 these are the money makers this is where you will get a biggest a lot of eyes on you i mean you can go up to you can go up to um I can go up to Sully Gnome right now and just look at like uh hide this. Let's just look at the top. The top uh over the last 30 days, let's look at the top games. Uh let's do most watch, not most stream. Most watch games over the past past 30 days. Right? On Twitch. Just chatting. Obviously. GTA 5. Pretty much live service because of RP, right? League of Legends. MOBA. 
live service. Valorant, shooter, live service. Fortnite, VR, live service. Counter Strike, shooter, live service. Dota 2, MOBA, live service. Apex Legend, shooter, live service. Warzone, BR, live service. Rainbow Six Siege, shooter, live service. The top 10 games except for just chatting are all live service. Every single one of them. You just keep going. Overwatch 2, Minecraft, Helldivers, World of Warcraft, Sports, I don't know what that is. Last Epoch, Escape from Tarkov, Dead by Daylight, Casino, I don't know what that is either. FC24, live service games. They're all live service. And then we get our first single player game, Elden Ring, at 21. Right? So this is this is most watched. This is on Twitch most watched. I'm not saying this is the most played out of all the games. It's not. It's not the most played. It's the most watched. Um for whatever reason, these games are the most watched. So top 20 games, pretty much we saw one single player game in the last, I'm doing the last 30 days. We can go further. We can go like 90 days, 180 days. In the last 30 days, 95%, probably 97, 98% all live service games. Um, But, but the thing I'm talking about sim racing is way at the bottom. Like iRacing is the biggest thing, the biggest uh, racing game on Twitch. Do they have the uh, rating? Viewers rank 118th. Average viewers. Peak viewers ranked 52nd. So it's not even in the top 100 in terms of average viewers, right? And this is the biggest racing game on Twitch. Right? And you look at the most watched people, their average viewer concur uh, average viewer concurrency. Um, I guess you can go about watch hours. This is probably better. Is it sorting by watch hours? Yeah, it's sorting, it's sorting by watch hours. So these guys are all established racers. I know pretty much everybody in the top ten, just by me getting into sim racing. I know everybody. They got they got established communities, whether it be on Twitch, on YouTube. Um, these are established guys. If Buona were to come in, I'd be down here and my watch hours are, I don't know what my watch hours are in iRacing, but they're not that good. But I, I, I really haven't done anything with it yet. So it's, it's kind of hard. It's kind of bad to say, to compare what I did versus these guys. These guys have been working at it for years. I've been doing it for weeks. Retrospect. Um, what about YouTube? I bet it's very similar. I, I don't know how to look up YouTube. Can I? No, I need to pay to go to uh, stream. What's it that called? Stream stat, not stream. Stream, streamer, that, I don't know. I forgot the name of the site, but they, there's a site that has YouTube stats and kick stats. Probably will come up. Stream charts. That's it. Stream charts. So if you go to stream charts, you can look at YouTube, but I think you got to pay for it. I think. Yeah, a lot of this data is locked. That's by month or for registered users only. I'm registered. Hold on. Am I registered? All right, print's done. Yes. Let's go check it out. I think I'm logged in. We'll register now. All right, give me a second. I'm gonna go. Uh... I'll turn on my. I love this effect. I'll be right back. I'm going to go check out this print.
this muffle? Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, I think the print came out good. Let me show you this after I turn off this effect again. Focus. It says super credit. These are super credits from Helldivers. The little uh, pendant keychain. I think it came out pretty good. There's like a little fake barcode at the bottom. Say hello to democracy. <laughs> I think I'll print another one. We'll print another one. We will print another one. Print plate. There we go. We'll print another one. That came out nice. Came out good. Exclamation point Polymaker in chat. Polymaker did sponsor this print with the filament they provided. These are all polylight filaments from my sponsor, Polymaker. We are doing giveaways right now in Discord. If you want to win some filament from Polymaker, go to Polymaker. I'm sorry, go to my Discord, discord.gg slash one in the giveaways channel. Enter set giveaway. I need to start a new one because I think the other one ended, right? Let me start the new one now. I haven't contacted the winners of the old one yet. Um, yeah, it ended. We will start a new one. That's a really nice blue. I like it too. I thought that was a copper connection to the bottom of the SD cards. Oh, it is? This is an SD card? I thought it was a barcode. You're right. It probably is. <laughs> it's like an SD card. You're right. I was wrong about that. I thought it was a... I actually thought this was a, a barcode. This is a, like a little SD card. Dory Buona. Doy, I have an unreasonable desire to get a resin printer. Dude, those I'm 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 resin. I don't know. Me and resin have we don't have a history, but whatever. Uh so what can I see? I've logged in. Um if I go to YouTube, stats for streaming. Um games being streamed. 239. Top gaming channels. Yeah, they don't have much in the effect of like what games are being streamed. I don't know if that data is even, even uh, available. Like that Twitch is like they have the top games for seven days. Can I do that on YouTube? Looks like you can select games and then YouTube gaming on the right, but it's behind the paywall. So it is behind the paywall. Okay. Yeah. No mail, welcome. Good day. Filter at the top. What do you filter by platform? Very top right. Customized table to unlock oh this filter there we go oh there it is there's a lock i see it <laughs> yep 
You can see Twitch and Kick, but not YouTube. You know, that's, that is good data I would like to have. And a person in my position probably should subscribe to these guys. But yeah. So yeah, it's just a, uh, it's a, it's a, it's just a matter of adjusting to what's happening. That's what I've been focusing on for years and years while doing the streaming thing is trying to adapt and focus and adjust and not just be stuck in my ways. Right. I think that's one of the reasons why I'm still around is not only just because of relevancy, I'm talking about from just from my personal sanity perspective is that I'm always keeping it fresh. And I'm always trying to do things different. I'm not going to do the same thing for 15 years because it will drive you insane. So that's why I'm seriously looking at sim racing uh, and just simulation stuff, uh, just going full into it. Because I, I did that for like three, two or three months. And then we kind of reverted a little bit once some of, some of the big games came out. Um, but that's why I'm looking at possibly just like uh, doing this, just going full sim racing, full time. And this is streaming. This is all streaming. Just so you guys know, this is not like all content. Making an A with this lag is hard. Stream. Yeah, this is why people use use paint because this is laggy. Epic Pen is laggy. So full time uh sim. I'll say sim and then put in parentheses racing as I think it's going to branch to trucking and other things as well. Right. Um, I think it'll be easier to keep a, a, a schedule because there's preset races every week. On top of like practice runs and all that stuff. I don't have to worry about like some other game release messing up everything, you know, easy to keep a, sh a schedule. Um, and the schedule can be, can consist of races and trucking to change things up, trucking and um, flight even to flight sim stuff. So schedule can be trucking, like, like truck sim. It could be racing, of course, and it could be flight. So a combination of all three of these things and this could be like one day a week this can be like four days a week and this can be like one day a week right so that could be like four days racing one day trucking one day flight type of deal or these can alternate so we can have one day trucking per week or one day flight per week etc etc um and like potential hardware deals and potential hardware options and because with sim the the big part of the appeal is all the cool hardware updates wheels wheel bases pedals no even vr i'm not into vr but vr is an option for people as well um so that could be that could be potential i said sponsors i meant i mean i've been deals i meant sponsors so this is what's been swimming in my brain for probably like since no november of last year and we've kind of deviated from it we did like most of december january i don't think we did that much february uh, we did a lot of sim racing. We did a set of Corsa. We did um, I racing and a set of Corsa Competizione. We did a lot of that. Got our wheel fixed. Um, talked about getting a two PC setup. Never got it though.
So we've kind of been doing a lot of that already. New MS flight 2024 due out later this year, so we'll be able to work that in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then we got a set of Corsa 2 coming out soon. I think that's coming out this summer. A set of Corsa 2. iRacing just released a big update with weather. That's out now. Um, and you know, then there's Gran Turismo and then there's Forza. It's like different racing titles can kind of keep it fresh. And um, it can attract console and PC players. Although I think initially I would probably um, I think initially for audience number one would be PC simmers at first because that's what I am. Simmers. And then you, know, you got your consoles. Probably gonna be P uh, S five first, and then Xbox because I'm not I'm not a Forza player, and I played a little bit on PC. So if I did play Forza, it'd be on PC first. Uh, I do have Gran Turismo Seven on PS five. I have that now, but I don't have a wheel that works on play PlayStation Five, right? So this is the, here's the problem though. Here, here are the potential issues. A lot of you who have known me for many, many years, you know, I played new games all the time. So one, if a new game came out, that was in Buana's new, that Buana played, he always plays them. So new games are always played here. Especially if it's like Final Fantasy or some looter shooter like Borderlands stuff I played in the past or a sequel to something or like a new season of Path of Exile like one is going to play that um, so I'm known for this so me stopping doing that somebody's going to come here watch me race here comes the jokes somebody's going to come here and see me race and they're going to be like hey you're, 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 not, you're not playing this game anymore you you're not playing hell divers anymore what happened to hell divers are, are you are you are, have you quit hell divers let me tell you as a streamer that can eat you up people brush it off but it eats you up it eats you up never sleep. it eats you up because i'm like you think in the back of your mind like man maybe i should be playing hell divers because people are actually asking about it and if the chat's like not lively while you're racing, they'd be like, well, maybe I should play Helldivers because people are more interested in that, which is not true. There's no proof of it. You know, it's all in your mind. It's all in your mind. Every time a streamer does that, it's all in your mind. I know I, I call myself out on when I do it too. It's all in your mind. Um, new games are always player. And then I have my fan bases, right? So I say fan. Because I don't know what else to say, but fan bases. So here we've got our PlayStation crowd, which found me via like PlayStation 3. So anytime a new PlayStation game comes out, they ask me about it. We got our uh, tech slash phone crowd, which found me via that. Right. Then we got our uh, Minecraft fandom people who found me via minecraft you got people found me via marvel heroes these are like the major pillars there's more and then finally we got our elite dangerous crowd i cannot write fast with this lag so these are all the fan bases i have just over the years of just creating content playstation crowd tech news tech phone you know web 2.0 stuff when i did that stuff back then and social network stuff um uh, hardware reviews all that kind of stuff just technology in general uh minecraft marvel heroes crowd and then elite dangerous crowd right so 
if you no know, these are all issues all of these are issues that can come up because these people are going to be expecting something from these pillars at some point that's why they follow me and if they don't see it they're either going to ask about it or they're going to leave without saying anything i appreciate the people who do ask about it before they leave but not everybody does that some people just like all right he's not doing it anymore i'm leaving because i don't want to see him play i don't want to see him race at all cool guy and everything but i got other stuff to do um and then there's the people who like buona are you going to play x like dragon's dogma's coming out like buona are you going to play that um a new beta for some survival game comes out buona are you going to play that some early access game for some I don't know, like midair too. Boy, are you gonna play that? So that's gonna happen too. And it's gonna constantly happen. So this is something I'm I'm expecting. So if I do decide to switch to just a lot of sim racing, I'm gonna expect this and I'm gonna expect that. And you know why I'm gonna expect that? Because that's human nature. And it's not a bad thing. That means that these people like my stuff. I'm not going to run away from these people and go, shut up, leave me alone. No, these are all good things. That means that these people like the content that I made in these areas. And they like when I cover new games and they want to see more of it. So it's not a bad thing if this happens. It's not. Um, not at all. It's not a bad thing at all. Not a bad thing at all, man. Um, so Why? Why streamer? I cannot. I'm about to break out. No, I'm really about to break out paint here. Why? Gotta do it. Well, number one, old. Number two, old. Number three. What was that three? Three. Adapt. I have to adapt. I'm going to be turning 50 in a few days. Five zero. I do zero. 50. That's twice as old as some of you. Um, so that means that means that shooters. Let me just say this. Fast reflexes ain't gonna happen. I just that, that that just that just ain't gonna happen i uh, no it just it, it just ain't gonna happen i've accepted i accepted that years ago i'm like well there, there, there they go there they go they're gone um being able to what's the other thing so fast reflexes and keeping up with the current trends like keeping up with current games like I could do that news wise, but as far as playing everything that comes out, keeping up with current game, I'm sorry for my handwriting chat. This thing is really laggy it is very, very difficult. Um, the older I get, because you know why a big reason why keeping up with all the game, all these games is grind. There's two forms of grind from my perspective, but the game grind is what I'm talking about. Take a look at Hell Divers, right? This is a good example. I'm about to log like 40, 50 hours into that, right? It's hard for me to do that in one game and then go over to Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth and then play that for 200 hours and then record videos, news for 17, 18, 20 hours a, uh, a week and then do video editing for 10 hours a week. It's just, I, I have no time. Time is a luxury. 
right? Time is, is just like, I, you just can't do that. Like, if I picked, like, if I was just a Helldiver streamer and nothing else, it'd be fine. But the way I bounce from, this is a hashtag too many games, man. The way I bounce back and forth between so many games, it's like not, it's not sustainable. Too many games is not sustainable. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. When you got grindy live service games out there, that's the, I, I, I proved, I showed you that before. The, um, just the nature of the popular booming games in the current year is a lot of games that require a lot of grind and time. Those are live service games. Uh, so that's why it's hard for me to, to keep up, you know, old. Stop making my wife mad at me. Older. Hashtag older. My wife don't like when I talk about myself like that. She'll beat me up. I do the same thing to her. Hashtag old fart. I mean, it's a, it's a new fart too. I'm a new fart. I got that fresh smell. That's nasty. Anyway. Um, that was that retro games plugin still on my desktop. So yeah, man, um, 3d printing is right up my alley though. This, this, these are things that I want to do more of in the future, right? Because 3d printing things I want to invest my time in. I might write all that. These are the things that I want to invest my time in 3d printing. Of course, we're going to reopen our shop very soon. Getting some models finalized. Uh, and I want to do more, not necessarily reporting on news, but like news coverage. I love this stuff. I think there's a demand for it. Uh, and I can improve on it. This is my bread and butter though. News coverage is my bread and butter. Just covering the news, giving my take on it and discussing it with people, that kind of stuff. It's like the basis of Buona.org radio and game chat with Buona and tech talk with Buona. So like podcasting basically, but podcasts. So I want to keep doing that. The big question mark is gaming. Like how is gaming going to fit in all this? That's what I'm trying to answer now. How is gaming going to fit in everything I'm going to do from here on out? And that's what I'm talking about all these different options of what I'm going to be doing and not doing because these two, these two are here going to, they're, they're going to stay no matter what. Um, and I'm hoping to grow in this grow, grow more in 3d printing and, um, become more professional with my news coverage and better B rolls and transitions and formats that can get people interested and look forward to my videos each day instead of stumbling on them. Uh, Chess, <laughs> I appreciate your news podcast a lot. Easy for me to listen to at work. Me too. I listen to it myself. And I think that's a golden rule for any content creator. You need to create content that you want to listen, you want to see or listen to. And I, I listen to my own stuff too. And I, I make myself laugh, which is weird, but I, I do. Some people can't stand the sound of their own voice, but I don't mind. I don't mind at all. Um, when I have a bad microphone, I, it's like nails on a chalkboard. Like if my sound quality goes awry, it's like, I just want to punch the wall. So gaming is, this is where I don't know what to do because I'm getting to the age where I got to make a decision. I can't, I can't keep up with you young kids anymore. So while I'm going to talk about the gaming, right? We're going to talk about it and possibly even play some of these games as far as a form of like a review or news coverage. 
streaming these games for hours on end or staying relevant in terms of like levels maxing out characters and talking about in game and stuff and all listen i i can't i i ain't got i ain't got the uh, cycles for that anymore i got to figure out some kind of a compromise that's why sim racing to me is something that stands out as a good option because not only is it good for someone my age because it doesn't require like super lightning fast uh response time it just requires technique and practice which as you age you get better at um it gives you that sense of progression and also it's fun to watch races once you understand what's going on it's it's one of the few games uh, to me it's one of the few types of games out there that i think anybody who hasn't done it at all can get some entertainment out of especially if something cool happens now if i'm doing 25 laps and i'm on lap 12 and I, there's nobody in front of me and nobody behind me then the average person is not going to really care about that too much but if i'm on the last five laps and i'm in a crowd and we're battling and we're trading paint and i overtake this person he overtakes me we come to this photo finish that's fun to watch i don't care who you are people can say what they want but that kind of stuff is really cool to watch and it doesn't happen all the time but just like you know a, a awesome play doesn't happen in a br or a war zone all the time it's the same thing it's the same thing you're not going to go on a 20 kill streak every game so you can't you can't expect that from sim racing either um i don't know I just wanted to dump that on you guys tell you what i'm thinking i haven't made a decision on anything yet but um i just want to do that brain dump on you because today's saturday it's a good day to do it and it kind of gives you an idea of where i'm thinking i'm taking the this channels and the streams and all that stuff where i want to take all this stuff because um my time is is <laughs> it's like it, you just can't stream for 10 hours a day man i can't do that anymore some people can. I can't. I like what I've been doing the past couple of weeks because I've been I've been pumping out a lot of content without putting a lot of time into live streaming. It's been mostly, even though they're short videos, they're like three to five minute videos. Um, the people watching that don't know that. They don't know how much time I put into it. They just they get value out of it. They get value out of it. And I didn't have to live stream for 10 hours to get that. You know, I, I, my streams were like three and four hours long. And I did most of the work on stream. I would record, edit, and post the videos on stream. And it took three to four hours. Uh, and I didn't play any games, though. That's the thing. It's like no games were involved. But I got a lot of content that's working for me, even though I'm not live. And I think that's a very important thing in this industry. It's finding some... Wait a minute. Who adjusted my set? Bzzz. That's one thing in this industry is you got to figure out a way to make your content work for you, even though you're not live. You got you got to find a way to do that. You got to find a way to make your content work for you, even though you're not live. That's why people repurpose for shorts and TikTok and clips and all that stuff. Clips are very good for that. Um, but the type of clips that they use are, you know, young people stuff. And I'm old person stuff. My popular clips are when I die in a video game. Their popular clips is when they go on a 20 k 20 kill streak or something so that's it i'm gonna shut up for a little bit this is what we're printing by the way i want to show you guys this that's why i went to this camera scene we're printing a super credit voucher for hell divers It says super credits on there. That's what we're printing right now. Yeah, so. And this is, you know, stuff like this. Let me show you something. Um, don't you love when he says he's gonna shut up and then he keeps talking? Love when he so 
I keep showing this guy's picture because it's hilarious. This just came out. This is a new wheel from Moza, which an ecosystem I'm very interested in investing in for my racing and sim stuff. They just came out with a truck wheel. One of the first I've ever seen. And it's making the it's making the rounds on all the reviewers out there. It's getting good reviews. It's a truck wheel. You know how trucks have giant wheels? This is a truck wheel. You see how this guy's reviewing this? See what he looks like? Look like we went to the same high school, doesn't it? <laughs> These are my people. This is my demographic. <laughs> but yeah, I'd be looking at Twitch like people I follow are playing DayZ, Halo Infinite, Rainbow Six Siege, uh, Genshin Impact, Fortnite. It's just like I can't, I can't do that, man. I can't and be relevant i can play those games don't, don't get me wrong i'm not like i'm gonna quit those games forever but it's like i feel like i should do something that um i feel like i should do something that can can fit my community and i can grow a little bit it's not like the gaming industry is not is doing us any favors at the moment and you know what dag that's why i'm saying i'm getting old man it's like i can't i don't want to deal with any of that like, I either want to go full retro and just play Sinistar all day or do some sim racing, you know? Play some Sinistar, some... What was that that beer tap game we were playing the other day? We can play that game. <laughs> Tapper? That was what it was. Yeah, we played Tapper all day. Get get the main, get the main stuff going, you know? Sit here and talk about the birds and the... I'm not going to say birds and the bees, but like how things used to be. Back in my day, we used to have a quarter lasted for 15 minutes and we were happy about it tarkov too sweating yep yeah it's just man it's to me sim racing just fits it's like i i i i feel like i belong in that genre because it, it just it satisfies it hits all the check boxes even though I'm not good at it. I'm not, I'm really not good at it at all. I was progressing. If you guys were watching me, I was getting, I was getting progressively better over time. And then I'd stop playing for a couple of days. And then I go backwards and then I have to work my way up again. And I go backwards, you know, it was a process, but it just feels like I fit in that genre more than say something like Tarkov or um, like, a, like an MMO. Because even MMOs just require a lot of time, so. And my my flexibility is my is my Achilles heel. I'm able to play many types of games, from average to good. So the the fact that I can bounce between a Tarkov, a Tribes, a Final Fantasy fourteen, a Helldivers, and look like I've been playing it for a hundred hours after like only playing it for a couple days that's my detriment so it's like I, I can i can adapt to these games really fast i always have been but that's not good if you want to sleep or eat ah <laughs> <sighs> oh, man yeah, content creation is rough, man. Current year, it is. That's why I'm looking to adapt. I got, I got to figure out something and work towards something new. I do this every year. I don't know if you guys, you guys have been following me more than a couple years. You've seen this. I, I don't stick around the same thing too long. You have to keep adapting. You have to keep changing. I can't just play Elite Dangerous for five years straight. It just, you, no, you can't. 
Yeah. So yeah, I'm thinking like just doing racing every day and then like Fridays and or Saturdays we can do trucking or flight sim. You know. I'm really considering that. I know some people won't like it and they'll probably leave the community, but I've had people come and go from this community all the time. You know, it's, it's not that doesn't frighten me as much when you grow, when you when you actually do something that grows your channel. If you don't see people leave, you're doing something wrong. You can't cater to everybody. People are going to leave. I'm not saying core people. I'm just saying people in general. People are going to leave and you have to accept that. And it took me years to get over that because I used to be hurt, man. People, if people used to leave and I know they left and I don't see them anymore because I left, it would hurt me. Now I'm just like, okay. Like, like, let me look at the iRacing directory right now. Let me just show you guys this. And then I look at this set of Corsa. We'll look at iRacing, then we'll look at the set of Corsa. <clears throat> and I'll tell you where I'll end up. I'll tell you right now where I end up. Where, where I'll end up. So let's do uh, most. I'll do most watched. I'll do most watched. All right. So if you look at the average concurrent viewers, let's just sort by that first. Um, I'll be down here at number. I'll probably peak around 35, 40 viewers, right? Probably for the first, if I do this for like five, six months straight, those first few months, I'll be like 35, 40. And the more that I stay in this category, the higher that'll go. So it'll be like 40, maybe 42, and then 40 again, then 35. And the more I race and the more I do official races, it'll grow. Especially if I couple my YouTube highlights and thoughts and all that stuff with what I'm doing, it'll grow even faster because the YouTube audience on iRacing and racing is much larger than Twitch. Much larger than Twitch, like super insanely larger, right? But I think that's general on YouTube in general. It's just the audience is much larger. Um, you watch time again. So if, if we go to the category now. Where's my categories here? Or they're down. Wait, they're there. Uh, iRacing. So most people, and this, this is something you'll notice about iRacing. The English crowd is the minority, I think. I really do. I think just sim racing in general, not English, American. I think the North American streamers are the minority. I think the North American streamers are the minority. There are there are, there are UK streamers everywhere. I'm, I, that's when I say English, I had to catch myself. Uh, the UK streamers, a lot of English speaking people from other countries, would it be Norwegian countries or I don't know, Middle Eastern? I don't know where they're coming from. They speak English on their streams. So I'm not gonna say English. American streams are the minority. Big time, right? And if you see here, the top eight streams, number eight is 31 viewers at on a Saturday at 6 p.m. Hi, Kriegs. Hey, Steven. So I would be in the top 15, top 10 consistently if I were to stream this game every day, which if you look at it from a directory standpoint, that's good. But from an overall streamer standpoint, you know, you never know. Uh, let's go to uh, Truck Sim. American. I'm American. Truck Sim, this is a game where I can be in the top one, two, three, if I, if I focus just on that, I'd be in the top five, like every stream. I already know that. Um, 
I just think truck sim doesn't have the same skill ceiling and incentive as racing does. It's, it's, it's really easy to hit a, a, a wall with truck sim, right? You can only do so much trucking. Then you'll be like, all right, that's enough. <laughs> I have trucked across the entire world seven times over. Um, let's look at the next one, which is the set of Corsa. I guess I'll go to Compassione. Compassione is much more competitive than a set of Corsa because a set of Corsa is mostly drifters and people who do like mods more so than racers, even though LFM is growing on the set of Corsa. Compassione is where the competitive racing is, right? Yeah, truck sim streams are chill, but it's not easy to grow and chill. It's nice for you guys to hang out at work and chit chat. It's a good chill stream, you're right. But if I'm looking to grow as a streamer or to expand my audience, it's not easy to do that in truck sim. Even the truck, even the, the dedicated truck simmers know that it's not easy. It's 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 like it's like farm sim. It's very much like farm sim. It's hard to grow in that. You got to do years worth of content for people to even recognize that you're a part of that genre. It's so hard to grow. I still want to do it weekly. You know, I want to do like a one or two truck sim or one or two uh, flight sim streams a week. But as a main thing, it's, it's tough, man. Kind of tough. Uh, what else? Flight sim is... Flight sim was tough, man. Because we did this for like, what, six months? I think it was like a good six to six months to a year. We dedicated ourselves to flight sim. Like that was a hardcore. That was a hardcore dedication. That's where Born at Born at Air came from, and got the whole Discord. We had a lot of new people. Um, but exactly, Salty. I was just gonna say that flight sim is a level of dedication beyond anything else. If you do anything else other than flight sim, people are, will leave. They're, they're out. They're, they're gone. It's like, nope. I'm out. This guy's playing. He's, he's racing. Now nah, I'm out. No more flight sim. Okay, I'm out. I'll see you next year. It's really tough, especially on YouTube. Like YouTube is even harder than Twitch, I think, because like you got to be completely dedicated to flight sim to grow in that which is it's fine if that's your niche you know if you don't live stream every day it's it's, it's plausible you know, but i'm planning on live streaming daily if i can and you know it's hard to just put your eggs in that basket which is why this is like option like one one or two streams a week and we could do like community flights and stuff to make it fun like hey let's fly through Alaska with some some GA planes upside down. No. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, what else? Yeah, GT7. GT7 is popping on YouTube. Like it's really big on YouTube. It's much it's much more popular than Forza from what I've seen. I think it's got the most potential for growth out of all the racing games, but I don't have a wheel for my uh, PlayStation. Um, so if I do do if I do sim racing, then you know it would be on, it would be on the list. It would definitely be on the list, but I'd have to get a wheel first because I'm I'm playing with my controller. It just it ain't it. I don't know. You touch the you, you just you taste the sweet sweet nectar of a wheel, and going back to a controller is like ill. You know, <laughs> like I want a wheel now. Yeah, Forza Horizon definitely plays better with a controller. I agree with that. They designed it for it. Okay, let me let me contact these winners real quick um, for the giveaway. I don't want them to think that I forgot about them. I gotta fill out some stuff too. 
Okay, that's one. Then solar ones. Solar ones, so let's do that. And then I gotta... Fill out stuff here and let Polymaker know who won. Okay, that giveaway was today. Met. Nice. All right. That, there we go. Cool. So that's taken care of. And I need to also put the logo on this giveaway. So yeah, what do you guys think? I mean, what, let me know your thoughts either here. If you need to collect them, put them in. Um, you can put them in Discord in the feedback channel too. Like as far as going full-time sim racing for streaming, but we're still going to do 3D printing. Still going to play other games like here and there. But the live stream will be dedicated to racing slash trucking. Just sim, sim stuff. I'm going to call it sim stuff because it's going to be mostly racing, but then there's going to be trucking and there's going to be flight stuff attached to that. Like, I, I'm, I'm talking like seriously going all in with it, not like just, hey, I'm going to do this for a couple weeks. All right. Edit giveaway. I need the logo, please. Polymaker. Save giveaway. Updated. Yes. Trains. We could throw trains in there. Like I'm thinking one or two days a week where we just do other sim games. I do have train sim. I have a bunch of train games. Um. I'll show you all the train games I have. Let's see, huh? Rain. I have Train Simulator, obviously, the granddaddy. We have Train Sim World Two, Train Valley. Um, I think I can get Train another Train Key. Did you ever play Planet Zoo? I did. I did a sponsor stream for it. Um, there's Train Simulator, and then there's um, Train Sim World. Don't they have a simulation games? I love that game, man. Played it for a few weeks every month. Yeah, it's, it's okay. It's, I, I'm just bad at those games. I'm bad at zoo games. And just park management, like theme park management. Like, you probably are good at, like, roller coaster tycoon type games. I'm just, I'm really bad at those. Like, super bad. Um, Snow Runner would be valid, too, by the way. In terms of like sim games to add on top of this, Snow Runner would be valid. That's to me, this is a valid game. And I'll, I did get a key for uh, Expeditions from was it Plutonium who gave me that? So I do have this game now, Expeditions. Um, but these are like one day a week things, one or two days a week. The rest of the week would be racing, 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 racing. And I would have to do like a Friday or a Saturday. I'm leaning towards Saturday for these games, these other games, other than racing. Unless there's like a race I'm doing, right? But it depends on that schedule. Too many sim games? I mean, when you talk about racing, you're going to be talking about iRacing, Assetto Corsa, Assetto Corsa Competizione, 
um, Gran Turismo, Corsa, F1, uh, Automobilista, Automobilista, uh, there's like seven others I don't remember, BMNG, so it's not like I'm going to be stuck on one game by doing this. There's definitely going to be a case of too many sim racing games, but it's going to, I mean, too many, too many sim games, but it's going to be racing. Everything's going to be racing. Mario Kart, no. <laughs> Listen, I like people. Mario Kart makes you hate people. I like people. I love my fellow man. I don't want to hate them. Mario Kart will turn me to an evil man. You will hate humanity with that game. <laughs> You absolutely despise humanity. Okay. But I hope you guys uh, just get, let, let me, um, just let me know, man. Just like, just let me know, because that's not a B. Goodness, I hate B. I gotta write like I'm in third grade now. I can't write fast because the, can't keep up with. Supermarket Simulator. My wife has that. She loves it, but it has too much uh, um, motion sickness stuff. She told me she loves that game, man. Here's my feedback. You need a new whiteboard program. I like Epic Pin, but holy crap. I don't know what happened. What are my options? I know there's some OBS ones. Oh, this is for lab. Wonder if that update for Epic Pandemic will help? I can try. How do I update? And exit. I think I'll just relaunch it. Yeah, my wife, she'll she'll be streaming again soon. She's been busy like me. We've both been we've been doing a lot of stuff, man. Click here to download. She'll be back at it. This site this this thing is getting to the point to where You've got to you've got to have like ninja skills to avoid all of the stupidness. Like I don't want to buy your pro, man. No. No. Information, what is this? Privacy policy. The company may use your personal data for the following purposes. To maintain our service, to monitor the usage of our service, to maintain your account. The personal data you provide give you access to different functionalities of the service that are available to you as a registered user. For the performance of a contract, the development, compliance, and undertaking the purchase contract for the products, items, and services you have purchased of, of any other contract with us through the service to contact you. This is what the personal data is being used for. To provide you with new special offers and general information about other goods, services, and events which we offer that are similar to those you have already purchased and acquired. Spam! To manage your requests, to attend and manage your requests to us for business transfers. What is this? We may use your information to evaluate or conduct a merger, divestiture, restructuring, reorganization, dissolution, or other sale of transfer of some of all of our assets. This is creepy. For other purposes, we may use your information for other purposes, such as data analysis, identifying usage trends, determining the effectiveness of our promotional campaigns, and to evaluate improving our service products, services, marketing, and your experience. We may share your personal information for the following situations with service providers, 
Service providers to monitor and analyze the use of our service for payment processing to contact you. For business transfers, with your consent, we may disclose your personal information for other purposes with your consent. Retention of your personal data. The company will retain your personal data only for as long as necessary for purpose, the purposes set out in the privacy policy, this privacy policy. We will retain and use your personal information data to the extent necessary to comply with our legal obligations. For example, if you're required to retain your data to comply with applicable laws, resolve disputes or enforce our legal agreements and policies. That's boilerplate. Uh, for internal analysis purposes, transfer of your personal data. Dude. This is making me want to stall something else. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't help me. That didn't help. Say no. That didn't. That didn't help me at all. Sheesh. Miro. On board. Board. Enter your, oh no, you didn't. I don't want to use Epic Pen Pro right now. See, this is how they get you. No. Ah, ah, that's how they get you. I get the pivot and streaming seems to be your career. As for content, I hope it's not only racing Sims. There's not many clean streamers who play the latest and popular games. I hope. You will tap into a pool of viewers like me who want the content creation for the folks who have a uh, fun and clean stream. Okay. That's well stated. Thank you. I hear you. I hear you. Do I hold any crypto? You can't hold crypto, silly man. <laughs> It's still laggy. It didn't fix it. I don't talk about that on stream, uh, crypto. Um, so, yeah. I'm not going to talk about it on here. Like, a, for privacy reasons. Slightly left field, no taking mind mapping suggestion, Obsidian, Obsidian Canvas. I mean, you can probably guess from my answer if I do or don't. Most people who don't have crypto will be like, absolutely not. I hate that crap. Anybody who does crypto is an idiot. And then you got people like me that go, I'd rather not say. Uh, sharpen your thinking. Obsidian is a private and flexible writing app. Today. Is this free? Or is it monthly free? Monthly fee. Uh... Oh, it's just a commercial use license. So there's no functionality being paywalled, I hope. If you want to sync, you got to pay. If you want to publish, you got to pay. Open source Epic Pen alternative. I'm going to I'm going to save this comment from Lemon. Thanks, man. That's some that's 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 really cutting me deep in a good way like what uh in terms of like clean streamers you're right there's not a lot there's not a lot of them out there and I, I try to maintain that all right let's try this let me let me quit epic pen first Pre-release of 1.12. Let's go with the latest. Uh, this mind mapping software, though, uh, I need something like that for day to day. So I'm going to look at that again. Just for like, because um, right now I'm a Notepad++ guy and I need I need something a little bit better than that. For like scripts, links, YouTube planning cross posting across different networks uh, you know i'm using basically my brain to, to handle all that stuff now 
not the best way to do it, honestly. Okay, where am I gonna throw this G link? I'll throw it on this drive. I think I put it, no, I didn't, okay. Uh, G link. It's got an absurd depth that can be uh, frankly overwhelming if you really get, really get into it. But it looked, it looked clean on the surface in terms of like, um, like feature set. I mean, it's got, looks like it's got organization here. Like this complicated, like mind graphing stuff, I'm not a huge fan of. I just like bullets and organization of text. You know, I'll try to move it out of the way. Where is this app? I just launched it. Oh. Ooh. Open source for the win. Open source. Wait, let me make this bigger. How do I make it bigger? I'll make it bigger. Uh eraser. That's a that's a highlighter. Let me click and hold. Right click. A little tray thing, that's cool. Okay. Lead everything. Um I just need to make it th thicker. Click and hold doesn't work. Huh. Oh, mouse click. Mouse. Oh. Hello, spores. Five pins. Roll wheel. No. Pin pressure support. Ooh, that's cool. If you got a, you got a um, add. I mean, it's fast though. It's it's much faster than Epic Pen. Like. Stupid fast. I can actually write without things looking crap because of the lag. Uh, each pin is a combination of these attributes. Let's see. I like many software where you can select from pins to draw things instead of changing individual settings of color transparency. Is there like a setting set? Wait, hold on. Let me um. Maybe there's a right click settings or option. Okay. Nothing popped up. Try again. Option. Nope. I went in way too deep with my first try and I keep it uh and I'm keeping it more basic this go around. It's easy. You see a lot of plugins and go, oh gimme, now you've just got way too much going on. <laughs> Yeah, the options aren't popping up. Uh, oh, okay. You close the tray and they come up. Okay. Pins. I found it. Pin one. You're going to be white. You're going to be the main boy. Thick. Oh, they got hotkeys for each pen. Oh, this is slick. General. Use white tray icon. Freedom never sleeps! Okay. Oh, that's a thick boy. Oh, look at that boy. Thick. Boy. And I have good handwriting, despite what you may have thought earlier. <laughs> I heard you talking. Oh, like there's only so much history. 
all right let me try the medium one so the downside is that you can't see options with the tray open so you have to close the tray bring up the options and tell it to do let's see normal thick let's do 388 388 chat magic number oh that's good freedom never beeps ah freedom never sleep ah! perfect <laughs> looks like you can choose the size and panel if you click option in the settings Check mark the tool. Hold on, let me um go back in the option. Talking about just hide other pins, is that what you're saying? In general. Oh! So they have a width thing in the panel. Oh, Ow! Ow! Where's that? Is this it? <gasps> you can't see it because it's off screen. Oh. Ooh. Why is that off by default? Why would you turn that off by. Wait! Why, why is that not on by default? That's weird. That's so needed. That's so needed dude yeah. all right this is much better epic pen is dead to me <laughs> just gone get rid of it uninstall oh, this is great 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 Eight. That's not a word. Here we go. I am like the youth. Name the video game. Listen, I was trying to draw the flag, okay? That you drop with the ability. Don't don't be making fun of my flag. This is the grape justice flag. It has a circle. Four great justice What's the hotkey to delete? There is one. There isn't one. I gotta make one. Okay. So lots of great discussions. I think I think uh Lemon's comment really has me thinking. Um, I'll read what he says. He says, uh, I get the pivot in streaming seems to be your career. As for content, I hope it's not only racing sims. There's not many clean streamers who play the latest and popular games. I hope you will tap into a pool of viewers like me who will, who want content creation from the folks who have fun and clean streams. Uh, that's making me rethink everything. It's very well said and stated. And, uh, like, uh, uh, I 
wife just said, that's true, babe. So how can we do both? Let's see. So plus we want fun and clean. Not in that order. Right? So how can I solve my problem of hashtag too many games? Oh, this is so much easier with this. Thank you so much, Jared Blaze, for mentioning this. Oh my gosh, my face is so happy. We got the problem of too many games, and then we have to also at the same time consider uh, 3D printing. Um, I just, I just say 3DP. You guys know what I mean? 3D printing, and um, and then we got the news slash podcast stuff. Which all of you said you like. Well, nobody said they like 3D printing. I just assume you do because you guys are still here. <laughs> I, I guess I can, I can assume that. So how do we solve the problem of too many games while maintaining fun and clean? Like, what's... How do we do that? Thirty-two hour days. I like the way you think. We need to stretch physics. We need to move the sun back and the earth in a different spot. Something that's helped me work through my backlog is having and keeping to a, cons a reasonably concrete list. Okay. So discipline, discipline. So don't play everything. Right? So don't play everything. Time limits. Set how long you're going to play a certain game. Mm, that's hard to do. I like what you're thinking, but that's so hard to do in the world of, 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 of live service games. Um, What's going on? Well, I've been um, I've been talking about possibly doing a, a pivot, a switch to the way I stream, and um, just the the I call the hashtag too many games because it's like right now I'm trying to do too much, and I don't I'm getting too old for this, like lethal weapon style. I'm getting too old for this, and. Um, so keeping up with the current state of gaming with live service games and just hyper releases every few months where it's just so many games that fall into my wheelhouse and trying to keep up with all of them while maintaining what I'm doing with 3D printing, while maintaining what I'm doing with the podcast and not having to stream for 14, 15 hours a day to keep up. Um, basically narrowing my scope to something, to a single thing single like area of games uh that's what we've been talking about for the past hour or two and so now we're talking about uh possible ways to maintain fun and clean streams because lemon gave some great feedback on how he wants me to expand to more people looking for fun and clean streams because that's why that's what he enjoys about this place the most Forget the whole keeping up thing, live in the moment. Okay, so you're saying when it comes to live service games, we like just play them for like a week. We limit them to like a week or something. No matter what. 
or a few days or something like that or a few days because that's what i assume you mean about don't try to don't worry about keeping up because with live service games they're designed to you you to play them all the time and they also come out with updates here's 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 the lure and appeal of live service games they come out with updates so when an update comes out people who follow me for that game and even the regulars would be like hey you're going to play that update that's coming out there's a new battle pass coming out there's new this coming out there's a new character coming out so there's always something to pull you back in so when you're a content creator you try to stay on top of these hype moments where you can like get yourself out there and with live service games it seems like you have to be on top of every new thing that happens so you're at the mercy of their schedule which can put you in a tailspin which is what i'm currently in of constantly switching games right and it's not a matter of like i, I see what you're saying pongo it's not a matter of like picking what to play it's a matter of time management this is my biggest issue is time management is is getting to getting tough because i have to a lot certain times for live streams i have to a lot certain times for uh content creation because my live streams aren't my content creation they're separate and lately i've been combining the two i've been doing my concrete content creation during my live streams that's what i've been doing for like the past month and then we do editing and all that kind of all that kind of good stuff editing and posting and thumbnails and thumbnails we do all that during the stream some people like that stuff some people don't it could be boring I, I admit it could be boring uh unless you and the chat are getting really into the game i mean if you start getting 100 viewers then keep it up if you if you are enjoying yourself yeah it's it's, it's a really tough thing to, to gauge um and like i said i'm getting old old this is hard to do this is much harder to do when you get old if i was in my 30s even 40s it wouldn't be as hard as it's getting because it's like my age is getting up there and i have to cut back on some stuff um so that's that's the main reason behind this whole discussion is time management from my perspective, I love when you are the main entertainment. There are certain games where you really get you out, your person and your great vibe. Uh, there is a game there, but you are making it 10 times greater with your energy. You seem to have lots of fun. The content is great when you really have fun. Okay, that makes sense. No, that's, that's good. That's good feedback. Really good feedback. Let me just screenshot these because I was about to like write all that down but or copy and paste i'm just gonna screenshot you guys good comments thank you um i agree with sujin don't limit things just go with what's working if you've got a couple of games you're sticking with with within a period maybe lock them in a couple of days held out for sundays yeah. that's good feedback hold on i closed the thing by accident so uh lock in community experience uh, stick with I'm trying to summarize what you guys are saying um Hmm. Capitalize on fun. Um. Agreed. It's weird being the same age as old people. <laughs> 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 oh gosh. Uh yeah, when no mail said you hit the nail dead center. I just got here, but I think this can all be solved by you streaming on lead again. 
<laughs> oh man by the way my carrier is probably gone uh, i really enjoyed how much you got into truck sim with the custom trucks and such yeah that was fun i love that kind of stuff man i love that kind of stuff that's why one of the reasons why i want to get into sim racing because there's a lot of that in that game too in those games like mods and customizations and stuff when you're having fun the game you're at your best yeah my 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 uh fc got decommissioned currently fixing it okay um i mean do i be blunt yeah be blunt if you're enjoying something then stopping because we only do things for a week here that kind of sucks oh okay uh i love watching you play stuff you love playing you're epic well thanks man also new flight sim is supposedly coming out this year yeah yep 2024 is coming out and i'm planning on playing it i am planning on playing it um i am i i i, I i've been ever since that was announced that, that was something i said we were going to play here or during the week sim weekends play other stuff yeah that's that's what we were talking about before like this is what i proposed and it was just an idea it's like you've got monday tuesday wednesday i don't know why they keep calling thursday r but here we are friday saturday and sunday so we do sim racing can you see that you can't see we do sim racing like four days out of the week right maybe like a i don't know wednesday i usually have off but and then these days can be either truck sim or flight sim or some other thing and somebody brought up a great idea like hell diver sundays or something like so hell divers here where we do community hell divers stuff on sunday um like that that's i proposed something like that but you know it it's just it was just a brainstorm See. um the vision jet is coming with the uh, microsoft flight sim base sim. it is <laughs> not to buy it awesome for content creation one thing is to do is research what the big wig content creators make and their structures like some of them only create two or three videos per week grab their blueprint well here's the problem with that um blueprints are they are they're okay to try, but they don't work for everybody. Ask me how I know. They don't work for everybody. And there's a reason why. Because it depends on the niche that you're in. So a lot of these, these blueprints are niche dependent, right? So if you're into like flight sim or truck sim or brs or 3d printing or um star citizen dead by daylight uh rainbow six siege those blueprints could work for that because of the demographic audience because you got certain demographics that play different types of games so if i do two to three videos per week that's fine for somebody 40 plus Zoomers, however, the 15 to 25 year olds, they need a new video every three minutes. <laughs> so it's like you have to you have to understand your audience is what I'm saying. Your audience and the niche are going to dictate what blueprints work and one, what ones don't. That makes sense? What you're saying is correct. Look at what other people do and learn from it. And I, I'm a big fan of that. There's a lot of content creators that have I have studied and I watch and I take stuff that they do and I use it on my own stream because it works. Um, but 
the audience is going to dictate what things in that blueprint you tweak or don't do do or don't do <clears throat> who says r for thursdays you have man let me tell you a lot of people do a lot of people do um they nerfed elite mining yeah well last time i played it did I got tired of the goids. My, oh, you guys talking about Elite Dangerous? Simulator Saturday. Yeah. Yep. I could tell there's a lot of things you're super passionate about and want to do. Uh, and then you immediately turn around and complain about time. I think it was yesterday or Thursday. You came on, recorded a video or two, and then did 3D printing for like an hour or two, and then spent another hour languishing over a choice of what to do and fighting yourself. Yes. That's accurate. That's accurate. And here, here's the problem. Um, I don't know if you're done typing, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, comment on that. As a streamer, uh, a very important thing to do, and a lesson I learned that I heard from another guy, which I should have did, is that you need to, you need to have a hobby outside of streaming. Guess what? I don't. Everything I do for fun, I do on the stream. So when I got into 3D printing, I streamed it. When I got into uh, iPhone and all the technology stuff, I streamed it. When I when I got into different types of games, I streamed it. Everything, I streamed everything. And what happens is that you can't separate... Your, your mind can't separate work from pleasure. So what happens now is that I rarely play games offline. Because of this, because I feel like if I'm playing a game offline, I need to be recording it for YouTube. Bro, I feel I actually feel guilty if I'm not recording that video for YouTube or I'm not live streaming that game, right? So that's kind of where my mind is, what you said. I'm going to keep reading now. Uh, but I think there needs to be a Buona Ink, Ink audit. I feel like there's just a lot of random disconnected items that take a lot of time and aren't working out from my perspective. I obviously don't have insider info. Okay. So what you're witnessing is you're right. There's a lot of ran seemingly random things. I tend to try things for three to six months. right three months is like the the minimum i'll try something so if you see me like do like i did sim racing from like november to like january right that was that was an experiment and i studied a lot of other content creators how they did stuff and i actually got some viewership i got this is when i was actually doing a youtube experiment too I got a lot of new eyes. A lot of new people even come back, ask me if I'm, if I'm still racing. We got some people in the community that found me via sim racing. So that worked, right? Um, but I usually try new things for three to six months. And the 3D printing stuff was another thing, which I, I didn't plan this. This just happened. Like I got, there was so much opportunity there that I couldn't ignore it. So I pretty much dropped everything. I got sponsors, I got hardware. It was so fast that I could not ignore it. I got a store, I got income from that. I could not ignore it. So that one right there just threw a monkey wrench in everything I was doing at the time. I, I had to do that. And I'm still kind of doing it, even though Warner Brothers was like, I hate you. Um, the thing is, and this is, this is the crux of what's going on. You talk about an audit, but this is the crux is what's going on. Things have changed. I can no longer do what I have been doing. I am going to be 50 years old. So I cannot do the things that I used to do the way I used to do. 
time management has to be changed. So what that means is a lot of time, a lot of time, I messed that up. A lot of time for activities has to be, where's an eraser? Has to be adjusted, right? So I have to do more of other things and less of others. Right? So what does that mean? That means that in the areas that I do stuff, 3D printing, uh, news and games, all of this make up a stream or I just say my day. I used to be able to make this. The heck is wrong with me? Uh, there we go. That's my day right there, right? And there's editing in this. There's, uh, you know, research and planning and all that crap. You can't see this. And there's planning and all that, right? So all that goes into all this. So that's my entire day. So I've got to a lot time for this, this, and this in the form of live streaming and off live streaming. That's what we're talking about. So the thing that I was looking at the most was this, the games, because this is where I spend the most of my time. I'm streaming for six, seven hours a day playing a game on stream. So I was talking about fine tuning that to where I can make the most out of that while using less time. That's what we talked about focusing on a certain genre. That's where that's kind of where you missed the discussion earlier. So I'm kind of catching you up. Um, from my perspective, the stream is the largest successful unit going right now. I feel that the channel is at its best when the biggest folks are dedicated to that. Here's an example. That's why I was pushing the whole just push full on edit the VODs. You want to make videos now. Just happens to be the way a lot of creators I know do their content nowadays. Everything happens on stream and then they just get thrown out into YouTube and edits and what's really a long clip. Right. And when you do that, I agree with you. I think what you're saying is right. But when you do that, you have live stream. And you've got a span of like, let's let's call it eight hours. Right. So during that eight hours, you can record content, right? For YouTube, specifically for YouTube, which is a different type of content than just a VOD. Right? So you have to either pick one. You have to be VOD or like YouTube specific. You can think of my news versus my, my Final Fantasy VII thing, right? And if you're going to YouTube, there's a whole nother thread on that. We're, we'll talk about that in a bit. So either that, and then you got to do, talk about editing and post-production. Let's just say post-production, which can take hours. Mind you, this is eight hours that I'm online that I'm streaming. So if I don't do it when I'm live, I got to do it either after or before the stream. So that's another five, four to five hours, potentially a post-production, depending on what I'm doing. All right. And then you've got interaction. So if I'm interacting with chat, I'm not doing these things. Unless I'm recording a VOD, right? I'm not doing YouTube content and I'm not doing post-production if I'm interacting. You could say I am, but I'm doing it twice as slow as if I was doing it offline. So post-production four to five hours when I'm on a stream is going to take six to seven hours now. That's poor time management for me. This is how I work, right? And this is an eight hour stream. I, to me, this can be this can be improved. That can be improved. This whole thing can be improved. And that's why I think the current way I'm doing things isn't great time management. Right? I love having the camera on the on, on the Kent on the printer, but not as the only thing. Yeah, that's why you see me do this. 
I'm on this and then I'll flip to this and then I'll flip. I, I'm always flipping scenes. Always. I don't keep it on the printer for more than five minutes. So I don't do that. An editor to do post-production might help with... Yeah, that requires money. Yeah, this, this is something I, I don't have a lot of right now. So I can't... I have to do it myself. And when my wife does stuff, I have to do her stuff too. I... We can't afford to hire somebody to do this. I mean, I would love to. This is why a bunch of creators do this, because it is work. This is a lot of work. Especially if you're creating as much stuff as some of these big content creators are. Hiring editors, they bring in a lot of revenue from YouTube. And uh, they can pay these people well and all they got to do is live stream that's all they got to worry about they just they all they do is live stream and they say clip that and then later they'll record an intro they'll give that to the editor right they'll give the editor the intro with a bunch of clip that's and then you get a video that makes you i don't know that has five hundred thousand views and you're paying your editor a small fraction of that. So your editor's yearly salary is made up by half a video. One of the things that I... I, I, uh, I I'm not trying to be like combative or anything. I'm just telling you that my situation is unique and I want to educate you guys on as to what the details are as much as possible before we get into like, Hey, just do this and just do that. Cause these are some of the things that some of the things you guys are saying, I haven't thought of, but some of them I have, and there's things that are preventing me from doing it. Um, and there's things that I can do, but I would have to, something is going to have to go. That's, that's the best way to say it. Uh, one of the, one of my things that, uh, I watch on Twitch as you record a news podcast on YouTube. I'm less likely to watch it on YouTube. I do know you have followers who are on YouTube only fans. I might be there. Yeah, that, that, that's good feedback, Matt. And I don't expect you to watch those videos. I just ask you guys to go up and like it. And that's it. Like, I don't expect like the people who watch you guys remember game chat with Buona, right? The people who were here live for game chat with Buona, I don't think they ever went to watch the YouTube or download the podcast. And if they did, they went to just witness uh, or get a link for something. I don't expect people to watch live and record the content. That's that's definitely reasonable. Definitely reasonable. Um, the goal, like you said, the goal is that I want to bring more people to the community through those videos. And we're getting some good, some decent feedback. We're getting comments on the videos and stuff. So people are finding the content, which is good. Some of the videos reached over a thousand views, which is good for like a two to three minute video. I think that's really good. Um, so they're doing their job. The videos are doing their job. And like I said, I'm getting 60 cents instead of 30 cents now from YouTube. So I'm getting more ad revenue. Out of it. And that's just through volume. You just one one way to, to work the YouTube algorithm is just throw a lot of stuff at it and something is going to stick. That just takes time now. So what did Nomel say? Nomel said, I'll do it. What did he say? Uh, just so I can see what's what's going on. I can hire an editor now? What do you mean? Uh, why am I don't see what Nomel said? I'll do it for a monthly Minecraft stream. Oh. No Mel's an adult now. He can barely commit to playing a game for more than three hours a week. We know how adulting is. <laughs> I think we got a little bit sidetracked, um, but 
overall you guys are giving some good feedback i just the thing that is causing me the most let me see if i can articulate just what the pain points are um uh from me it's hard to keep up because let me let me let me give you an example let me give you an example the perfect example right now this is what my community expected me to do final fantasy 14 videos but you didn't expect me to say that did you uh final fantasy 7 rebirth I'll just put content because it doesn't have to be a video content. Uh, and um, now Hell Divers. That wasn't always the case, but till recently, Hell Divers too. Content. Um, new releases. So we've got stuff like Fallout London next month. We've got uh, Dragon's Dogma 2. This is just the next two months. There's more stuff coming out in, in the future. Um, and then on top of that, there's news and 3D printing, which is self-imposed, by the way. Like a lot of this stuff is self-imposed, but this is just the plan. So keeping up with all of that and live streaming is tough. Right. So these are the things that I've planned. This is something that this is my number one source of revenue on YouTube. This, are you, this is this. Uh, that's why I'm telling you this. This is why it's important on YouTube. The Final Fantasy cutscene videos are our number one source of revenue. So that that's that has to happen. This right here. It's something that I wanted to do, but I didn't have to do, but it's happening, right? This is something that I want to do that I didn't have to do, but it's happening. These are things that you guys just said that you want me to do. You want me to do new releases. And the news and 3D printing are stuff to augment this. And 3D printing I'm sponsored by, so I, this is an obligation. I'm obligated to do that. This, this is a Polymaker thing. So I have to make that content. So these two things are not optional, whereas these things are. And based on my feedback that I got from you guys, you want to see this stuff. So these are things you guys want to see. These are things like you want to see from me. Like people said, they want to find, they want, they want to play, they want to come here for clean content for new releases. Right. That doesn't mean I'm gonna do it, but this is this is the feedback I'm getting that you guys want. Right. So I have to keep up with this and live stream. So the next step is to prioritize. Right? Obviously I can't do all that. So we have to prioritize. What do we do first? What do we do second? And what goes away? That's where this whole discussion is coming from. Time management. What gets done and what and what I was going to do is I was going to chop all the games off and just do sim racing. That would have solved everything. <laughs> Everybody was like, no, we want to see you still play games. So that's why we're talking now. I'm good with new releases sprinkled in, but not having to play them for a week at a time. Right, right. I'll set up for just the new releases stuff. What people expect and what you should do are entirely unrelated. They're connected though. They're connected. They're not, they're, they're not entire, they're, they are connected because What's the 
what's the best way to put it? Um, fostering your community means basically doing check-ins every now and then. Doing check-ins every now and then to see what people like and don't like. And I think the best feedback I got today was from Lemon. He told me that was the best feedback I got. Um, I'm on team screw chat. Oh, you don't have no idea how many times I have said, forget you, I ain't doing that. You probably do know. I don't do everything you guys say. Mr. Please play Minecraft for the hundred thousand time. And what did Reverse Ninja do when he came in? Hey, all your problems will be solved if you play Elite Dangerous. <laughs> Laugh track. You guys are joking and I'm joking too. I'm not serious. I'm not serious. Do what pays the bills and what is most fun for you. Exactly. Exactly. Like I've learned with this community and uh, just in general is that I don't put things on the table unless I know I'm going to have fun with it. So everything we've talked about so far are things that I think I would have fun with. So except for Dragon's Dogma, I'm not sure about that. It's just been Dragon's Dogma has been coming up lately. But Fallout London, um, the Helldiver stuff. Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth, all of these things I'm having fun with. It's not that's not the problem. That is not the problem. It is time. Hashtag too many game. That is the problem. There's too many. So I have to prioritize. Just cut out the chat. <laughs> cut out the chat. Skip Dogma. I, I didn't even plan on getting Dogma. It's just, it's, it's something that's coming up because it's that scenario where chat wants me to play a new release. That's why I brought up Dragon's Dogma is because like one, have you seen this game? You want to play it? I'm like, oh, let me take a look at it. You know, and then we come up with a plan to play it or not. There have been several games we skipped because it's just no time. So the, the key is to prioritize. Um, so the, oh, wrong. In terms of content, this is, this is, this is what I'm looking at for the next few weeks. Just so you guys know, we can prioritize this. So I need to do the, whoops. I need to do the Final Fantasy 14 cutscenes. I've been putting that off because I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I just don't want to do it because it's time consuming. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's very time consuming. It takes so long to record all these videos. So I just don't want to do it, but I got to do it. Um, It's not hard to do. It just takes forever because you have to watch 14, 16 hours of content while you're recording. You can't speed that up. So that's number one, the priority. Number two, is um i guess i would say number two is youtube at the moment and that has a bunch of sub bullets and then number three is live stream right under youtube is the news under youtube is uh, I guess I could say YouTube social media because the 3D printing stuff is social media stuff right? promotions and stuff so this is the priority this first this second this third and games usually fall here question mark but we have this little game called Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth that I've been I've been kind of interjecting and injecting in here. You know, it kind of goes in there. But games usually fall on a live stream. And I'm okay with that. You mentioned your Final Fantasy 14 are your biggest source of revenue from YouTube. So out of the 60 cents you got last month, how much came from those Final Fantasy videos versus your newest videos? Uh, 
I can look that up. I know previous months, they blew them out of the water. Analytics. Okay. Which brings the most revenue? Well, currently, the live stream does. Well, okay. Overall, the most revenue comes from coffee. So that's user support is number one. You guys, through Golathons, all of that, you guys are number one by far. Like you blow everything else away. So outside of you guys is what I'm talking about here. All right, let me go to analytics here. So for last month, let's see. How do I filter by month? There we go. Yeah, February. February. Um, I click on estimated revenue. Just show me that. Oh, this wait, January through January. Okay, so January the number one. It says your top content. I don't know if that's I don't know if that's the top money maker or not. Let's go to revenue tab. Yeah, here we go. So for let's go February, where I made. I, I'm I'm I think I can show this. I think I can show this. One hundred and five dollars from YouTube. These were the top makers. Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers. Passkey comes to PlayStation 5. This was a news video. Final Fantasy XIV Realm Reborn. Final Fantasy XIV Post Shadowbringers. Final Fantasy XIV Heavensward. These were the top money makers for February. I go to January. They refresh. Shadowbringers. Realm Reborn. Heavensward. Post Shadowbringers, which removes exclusivity clause. I go to March, which is what we're doing right now. And March is when I really, you know, kicked it up a notch. Final Fantasy 14 Shadowbringers. Helldiver's biggest enemy is Joel. Passkey comes to PlayStation 5. Uh, Final Fantasy IV, uh, 7 Rebirth breaks physical, whatever. Final Fantasy 14 Realm Reborn, all voices, whatever. So as you can see, my news videos are in the top five now because I really kicked it up a notch. And that's why I said I was getting more money from that than before, right? Did I answer your question, Chris? I don't know, I don't know. I don't know if that answered your question or not. So live stream is number one. I don't, I, I don't know, man. I don't consider coffee to be live stream. I consider it to be like community. It's like Patreon to me. Coffee to me is like Patreon. It's like very close to that. It's like I've got memberships on there and then I've got like one time donations through the live stream, but it's for Golathons and stuff like that. So if you want to do like, if you want to connect it to the live stream that way, you could, you can say yes. The previous Golathons where you had a, a overlay list of things you'd be doing seemed like you stuck to those and got a lot of them done. I did. I did, um, and some of them I didn't. Like for example, the which ones haven't I done yet? I, I, this is bad. That I keep this all in my brain. The factorial server haven't done that yet. The um, project Zomboy server haven't done that. I think there's one more we still haven't done. I changed the way I was doing Golathons because it was it was making me sick. It was affecting my health. So doing the really long streams with the incentives and stuff was making me ill. So, whoa! Coffee tip from S'mores. Thank you, S'mores, for the support, chat. Show them some love, man. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. That's a lot. That took us from 21 to 23, I think. Thank you so much, man. You could have bought, like, chicken nuggets with that. Thank you, man, so much. We need that. 
but no heck it didn't it doesn't read okay it doesn't read it so i'll read it because coffee's weird i gotta fix it i can't hire anybody to do this because i'm hurt okay let me read it uh i'm sorry it just doesn't read them okay wait where is it you have four new okay here it is look i just doubled february's video pay <laughs> Okay, you gonna do it next month too? <laughs> Thank you again. I was making a point, my argument. You you made your point. You made your point. I got it. Hey babe. Mind give me some water? Thank you. The point is look at what the stream provides. I hear you, I hear you. Um Want to hear why I hate live streaming in terms of like long term stuff? Oh crap. Coffee tip for reverse ninja. Well, I, I mean, I think you guys are making a point, huh? We're. F I, I mean. The Thargoids miss you. He said the Thargoids miss you. Thank you guys. It's been a rough month. It's, it's been a rough rough couple of months my, my wife knows more you guys it's just been rough and wow okay so hold on let me get my point across about live stream this is my biggest before i start crying on here because it, it's been rough um my biggest issue with live streams right is time in i'm gonna invest it is too much based on what you're getting now right so streaming for eight hours on a live stream versus like eight hours of content creation offline that just and this is a point that from like a minute ago this is like five minutes ago right not just what happened but i just want to tell you guys why i think um why it's rough because this it, it's a it's a colossal waste of time to stream for like eight to ten hours a day versus putting that time towards taking the content you can make in eight hours and reusing it properly right community management is a big part of what i would do offline so that would be on discord that would be through coffee that would be through a lot of stuff thank you again reverse ninja I, like i said i'm holding back tears it's, it's been a it's been a month it's been the last it's been it's been the last it's been some months um but we're pushing through thank you i'm very thirsty thank you um so it's been rough for a lot of Twitch streamers. I've watched subs are down across all streams. Yeah. I mean, my wife and I can get through that. It's just, I've been dealing with health issues too. And I've, I've had to go to the doctor and stuff. And it's just had to, it's just been compounded with that. Right. So that's why I'm taking it very seriously to time management. Just rename my stream to time management, right? Like I, I want, I'm, I'm going to continue streaming games. I'm going to continue to do other stuff, but it's just like, I got to take care of myself. Right. Yeah. Four to six hour streams is kind of what we're doing. Uh, that's kind of what we're doing. Um, Golathon streams go longer though. So today's stream and yesterday's stream 
one of the things about Golathon streams is that they're longer. That's the appeal of them. So we can, uh, it's like a marathon type thing. Right. And they're, they're only for one week a month. So it's not like I'm doing this all the time. Um, supposed to not be doing it all the time. It's supposed to be for one week a month, but if we don't hit the goal, I keep going. And I keep going and I keep going and I keep going until we hit the goal. Right. Uh, look, I get the goal on stuff. A lot of people do it. Uh, but when every month we come in, we see like 3K, it makes me probably others go, hey, something really ain't right with this plan. Really? Well, I can educate you on that if you want to take some time out because 3.5K per month is low. <laughs> that is low. That is very low. When you consider what that is, that is very low. Like I'm, this is an undercut for me. I actually need much more than that to live, right? And you've got subs, you've got ad revenue, you've got, you know, you've got uh, bits. You've got sponsors. You've got a bunch of other sources of, of, of money that you can get, right? But this stuff right here is not reliable. And it fluctuates a lot. It fluctuates a lot. So the 3.5K a month is supposed to be there for a stable amount per month. So I can go from that and this will be like on top of this. Right? Subs on Twitch is 50%. It's a ripoff. That's why I tell people not to do it. Ad revenue, the ripoff. I tell people don't, I, I'm not relying on that for that's like bonus money. That's like to buy a cup of coffee every now and then. Same with bits. Bits is not reliable. Sponsors don't pay. Streamer my size, they don't pay. So all of this is invalid when it comes to like reliable sources of income, right? Which is why I have stuff like merch. I have a bunch of, my business plan consists of 3D printing merch. Uh, I guess you can call it Patreon and content creation, right? Four pillars right there. This is on hold. This is now coffee, right? This is what I spend the majority of my time on. And this is some timing. So if we're gonna sit here and pick apart my business plan, which I'd rather not do, tip from Khufu. there's a lot of things I could be doing right. There's a lot of things I'd be doing wrong, but this stuff is really, 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 really inconsistent. Thank you so much. That is that, uh, Rahiru, thanks for Rahiru. Appreciate it, man. Chat, show him some love. All of this stuff is inconsistent. So that's why we have goals. That's why my wife and I budget for this. That's why I don't we don't live frivolously. We 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 do the bare minimum, right? So other streamers out there may do it better. I would love to hear them some tips from them. But if we're going to talk about something ain't right with the business plan, we got to look at the landscape and we got to look at a lot of other things that I have some control over and other things where I just rely on others. And in 2024, the things that I have control over, they are going down, right? They're going way down. Like ad revenue, uh, subs, bits. That stuff here, this this right here ain't it. It's okay, let, let me let me let me make something clear. I'm not talking about doing less. I'm talking about doing things differently. Where the time management is say, okay, instead of doing this for six hours, we're gonna do this for four hours. Instead of doing this for three hours we're gonna do this for two and a half hours it's, it's, it's more of long of juggling time i think we're getting off track 
I think you guys are assuming things that I'm not going to do. There's a lot of things that are not going to change other than what I'm playing, like the games that I'm, that I'm choosing. That's pretty much what it comes down to. Like, what am I playing? It's like, it's not going to change. I, I, don't, I feel like you guys feel like I'm going to, I'm going to change things drastically. I'm just going to change what I'm playing. Right. says i hope this makes sense right now you're dedicating a lot of time to creating news videos but news content tends to get outdated quickly a cutscene video you made 4.5 years ago is still performing better than your recent news videos on popular topics in order for the uh the effort you put into that cutscene video is yielding long-term benefits whereas the news content you need to invest many hours every day to stay relevant and generate revenue right so you're right and i agree the goal of the news videos was to uh, basically retrain the algorithm of YouTube. So what does that mean? That means that instead of seeing a video from Buona from 12 years ago, somebody will see a video from a day ago or two days ago. Something relevant to what they're doing right now, like Helldivers. Like Helldivers videos... People will see me pop up instead of saying YouTube applications or iPhone applications or check out this PS3 um, handheld. So that's to retrain the algorithm that, hey, this is what he's doing. And I'm doing like lots of videos per day to do that. I'm throwing a lot at it. Number two um, is to get new eyes on the, on the, uh, on the channel. The goal was never to make money. To make money. The goal of the new stuff was never to make money, ever. And what's surprising is that it did. I didn't expect that. I really didn't expect the the those videos to even get over 100 views or 200 views. I just wanted to retrain the algorithm to say, show this instead of 10 year old videos which is what everybody sees from my channel they see 10 year old videos instead of recent things right so that's why i'm pumping new videos out i'm flooding the algorithm you can look at a lot of successful youtubers out there that do up-to-date content they either do multiple videos per day or they do multiple videos per week and it's about current stuff and by doing that, the algorithm recommends, if you've looked up a guide on Hell Divers, it's going to recommend their videos on Hell Divers. If you looked up a guide or if you looked up news about an iPhone defect, it's going to recommend that iPhone defect. Currently, if you looked up an iPhone defect, it would recommend Buona's iPhone applications video from 10 years ago. You see what I'm saying? So I want to retrain the algorithm to show more current content so people can know that I'm still here. And this is coupled with the live stream. So these two combined will form Voltron to where people say, hey, Buona still streams. And you know what? That's working. We're getting a lot of people coming back saying, hey, glad you're still streaming. I remember you from, we get at least one person, two people probably every two days, or one person per day, I should say, that says, hey, I remember you from the iPhone videos. I'm really happy to see you're back. You know how many people did that before I started doing this? None. <laughs> so it's like, that was the goal here. But in terms of like time, I should be doing the Final Fantasy 14 videos. And I even explained that to you guys when I was doing them. They were like, Buona, why are you doing this? I was like, these are the best videos for my channel ever. I put so much time into these videos, but the long-term gains and this is when i was making the Shadowbringers one i think i was we were on um we were on mixer at the time and i was recording the Shadowbringers videos on mixer and it's funny because some lahi alerts got in accidentally that was funny um and i said i said then i was like i'm doing all of this because they're gonna pay off 
years from now, every time a new expansion comes out, people are going to come back and watch these. And I spent days upon days upon days making those videos. And sure enough, they're paying off. Um, so I'm going to be making these very, very soon, like very soon. Like I'm, I'm ready to do it tonight. Honestly, uh, Prell, you crazy. <laughs> I don't want to sound like I'm, 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 I'm being combative, but I, I want to, I want to reassure you guys of something. I want to reassure you that nothing major is changing. All right. Chicken little is wrong. Nothing major is changing. It's a restructuring of my time so that I can be healthier and a restructuring of what I'm playing so it can be smarter. Okay. And that's where the discussion comes in with you guys. So playing games that are smarter versus just playing games, just play games, playing games smarter instead of just jumping on any new game, you know, and that's why I was like sim racing. That was why I went to sim racing, which is not set in stone, but I just want to do something a little bit different on top of what we're already doing. Right. So playing games for us or playing games to build new viewership. Exactly. It's a, it's a cross section. It's a cross section. So you can do the old diagrams like this. It's like new games that bring in new viewers. And then you've got games that my community wants to watch. The goal is to get this. I want this cross section. That's I, actually that that's been my that's been my philosophy for years. And that's what every streamer out there is like dying to know what should I play? You ask any long term streamer their biggest obstacle. They're like, I don't know what to stream because they're trying to figure this out. And it's not cut and dry. It's not easy. The, the people give you advice from all over the place. It's like, oh, play what's popular or avoid avoid popular categories, right? This is like the, the typical passing streamer advice people go. Avoid that popular categories. Um, find games that you could be at the top of the directory of or find games where you can lead the directory. And you know what I say to all this? It don't work. It don't work. It's not going to guarantee. This is not going to guarantee growth. It's not. Because you know what? Know what's left out of this is your community. You need to, you got to figure out what your community will watch. And then you got to foster people around that. And then you got to build on that. Then you got to grow on that. Right. And just giving that general advice like that doesn't work all the time. Hell divers is a thing for weekly bloopers. Cool clips of it could be. Yeah. yeah, yeah. My favorite one is variety born. I like a lot of games you get into, but not much when it's the same game all week. I, I, I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. But let me let me circle back to that live service thing, man. It's 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 going to be different. Now, this is something that will change. If if I'm sticking with live service, it's not going to be what Pass Buona does. It's going to be maybe two to four days of that crap, and then I'm moving on. <laughs> and then and then I'm out because you the, these new games that are coming out. They demand all of your time. So I'm down for what you guys are asking in chat. I'm down for that. But something that will change is that if I'm playing these games, I'm not going to stick with them. So if you come back a week later and be like, what happened? I'm like, I'm already, I've already moved on. I've already moved on. So for example, Helldivers. If another Helldivers 2 comes out, 
and I only play it for three days and I get to level 10, you'd be like, what happened? I'm like, I've already moved on. That's something that's going to happen. That's, that's, that's what you guys have to understand is that I can't spend hundreds of hours on these games anymore. That's something that will change if we stick with the current variety thing. I can't, you can't, it's, it's not physically possible to do this, right? And that's why a lot of streamers get overwhelmed is because they're trying to keep up with these games that are like 500, a thousand hour games. And they're trying to keep up with like, I keep saying that I keep using the word keep up. It's because as a streamer, you have to follow trends. I know you guys say, Buona, you don't have to play it. And I, I agree, I don't have to play it. But as a streamer, you have to look at trends. You have to keep up with trends. And you have to consider that when you're picking a new game to play. That's that's why I'm just saying keep up. Hey, what's up, Mr. Wizard? Welcome, dude. So it's 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 a it's a, one of those cases of okay. Let's summarize because we, we've kind of jumped in a lot of different places where I don't I didn't anticipate jumping, but I think some clarifications were made. So it's good overall. Um, variety. Versus. Content creation. Um, content creation, I'm talking about YouTube. This is YouTube, right? Based on what you guys are saying and all the money flying in my face and slapping me upside the head, you want this <laughs> over this, right? That's what I thought. Okay. So that's a good summary of what we just talked about for the past hour. You want variety. You don't want content creation, right? Which I'm down. I can do that. I can do that. Right. And so as a, as a plan going forward with that in mind, man, I love this tool. Jared blaze needs a raise. Good grief. Um, this is so much better than the Epic pay. The plan is to, uh, we can scale back YouTube, right? With the news, no, I'm just talking about the news, but keep the final fantasy 14 stuff going because it's been so successful. But everything else, scale back YouTube news, etc., and retool variety, retool the variety plan. Ideally, we'd like variety to be potentially be made a content creation. Um, ideally, yes, Sujin. Ideally, this could be clips and highlights. That's not going to change. That's not going to change. If I'm doing variety, we're making clips and we're posting them to YouTube shorts and yada, yada, yada. This is what you guys, I'm, I'm not saying this is what we're going to do, but based on your feedback, this is what you would prefer, right? You would prefer the variety content on Twitch, on live streaming platforms, I should say, and less of, and less of this stuff. Well, except the Final Fantasy 14, we're doing that. Cause that's that's an unexpected surprise now where does that leave 3d printing and um well th that doesn't leave 3d printing that's not gonna do anything to 3d printing that's still gonna happen but i think more of that's just gonna be offline and what i've been doing recently you guys probably know this is that i come back like i'll start a print and you'll occasionally see the printer and then at the beginning of each stream i'll show you guys what i printed the previous day so it's like a show and tell And then I, I threw my hashtag ag polymaker in there, right? So it's a show and tell. That's not going to change. And that doesn't take, you know, about 10, five, 10 minutes to do that. So this is offline and online 3D printing. And then we've got Discord to foster community and all that kind of good stuff. Right. If you randomly talk about news, clip it and do a YouTube video. Yeah. That's that that it's a slippery slope. I, I I got some community members' names in my head. 
which was like, hey, just record a game chat with Buana. Uh, <laughs> it's a slippery slope, but I hear you. I mean, a lot of creators do that. They'll they'll have a segment, and this is where the news thing comes in. Like big streamers will have a segment of just chatting before their stream starts. They'll talk about a bunch of stuff and then they'll throw it in an editor. He'll chop it up into, into 10 videos. It goes to an editor and then you've got five to 10 videos from that, that they edit themselves, right? If I were to do this, this is gonna take time. This is more time away from me, right? Talk about the news for 10 minutes. See, okay, now we're going back to what I'm currently doing. This is that, the news for 10 minutes at the beginning of a stream is actually news for like an hour now, but I do like, I'm down to like three, five minute videos per stream, right? This is the current news thing, three to five videos. And they're like, they range from three to six minutes, I guess, right? Recording that is really easy. Be less fussy about editing. Well, no. Editing is more important than the actual content. I'll tell you why in a second. Anyway, three to five videos, three to six minutes. And then you've got to do, that's easy. This is the easy part. This is easy clap. Recording the videos is easy. The editing is when it comes to, um, you're basically trimming. The way I do my editing is I do the same thing as podcasting. I do trimming. So I cut the beginning and I cut the end. And then we've got a video in the middle, right? The work comes into metadata and thumbnails. This is where a vast majority of the time is spent. Vast majority. So this takes, you no, know, maybe 20 minutes to do total. This takes maybe 10. This could take anywhere from two hours to four hours. Because as any YouTuber will tell you, this is the most important stuff. This is going to get you clicks. You can say unga bunga for five minutes straight. And if you got this right, you're going to get, you're going to get 5,000 views. Guaranteed. So while we can occasionally, um, we can dedicate people to make these clips and stuff just for fun and not really care about the performance of the YouTube videos and just have it out there. Cause I did that for years too. And then I spent a lot less time doing it, but I, I kind of kicked it up to a, the next level. So if we, if we just want to have content for you guys to go watch and not new people to come in, it'll be easy. But if I want the videos to perform well, I gotta do thumbnails, which takes a long time to get right. If YouTube gives me A B testing, it takes less time, I think. And I, also, I still don't have it right. I'm not a, I'm not good at thumbnails. I'm getting better, but they are they make or break your videos. Like my Joel thumbnail is probably the best thumbnail I've done this year. And I'm 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 very positive because I don't say anything in that video. I don't say anything in that Joel video. But it's got some of the highest views this month. Where is it at? Go. Crap. I thought I'd search my videos. What's going on? Hold on. One News Network, Game Tech News. Go to this playlist. Where's Joel? This thumbnail here? Where's that? Like, you can see it. Like, it stands out. It's a guy, is a dungeon master over, over a board and just the big letters Joel. And it has the Helldivers logo on there. This thing has 5,000 views. And I don't say anything in this video except for this guy came out. His name is Joel. He's dungeon master. Please click like, subscribe. There's nothing really of content in that video, right? But because of the thumbnail, I got 5,000 views on it. And it's hit or miss. 
like there's no formula to this you just have to know this stuff man it's, it's a it's a moving target like this persona thumbnail is good too like i think i i i i, I kind of i'm getting better at this persona six uh rumors you just see a giant six with persona people in the background that's clickable right payday i don't know why that one's doing well i have no clue the thumbnail's not that great and the, probably my best thumbnail is the this one the suicide squad kills the justice league i've got a picture of uh harley quinn doing a cringe face that's probably my favorite thumbnail So big numbers or letters against the background. Oh man, you can't, it's not that simple. It's, you can't simply, you can't, I can't even explain it to you in a couple of hours. It's gonna take, there's a lot going on. Let me just say that, there's a lot going on. It's not just text and images. You have to, it's like marketing. You have to make something that appeals to people and there's, there's no formula for that. You've got to just do it right. And when you do it right, you go, okay, that worked. Then you try to repeat that, and then it doesn't. That's why thumbnail makers on YouTube make the best money. They get paid because they, they're they good at it. They're really good at it. They've got techniques and stuff they're not going to tell me. They're keeping that stuff close to the hip. They're not going to tell me. I'm dumb. My wife will tell you I'm dumb. I'll tell you guys everything. I'll be like, oh, in order to do this, blah, 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 blah. I'll tell, I'll say everything because it's my personality. I just, I know, I just teach. If I know something, I'm going to say it. I'm not going to, I'm not going to hold back. But these thumbnail dudes, they ain't going to tell you nothing. And the ones that do tell you something, they're going to sell you on a video with some generic, some generic advice that ain't going to help you. So they keep that knowledge close to the hip, man. I can't. Knowledge. Those two hip. They don't share that. Standardization is good if you want to keep your audience, but grab attention of new folks. You need to change up and differentiate yourself from others who are in the same book. Exactly. That's well said. Because that's one of the reasons why I want A-B testing from YouTube. YouTube has a feature called A-B testing. And what it's a beta program. And what you can do is that you can put up two thumbnails for the same video. So you can go two totally different ideas. You can have one with like your face on there and one with no face and then text and just see how it performs in the algorithm. YouTube will randomly put both thumbnails out there and whichever thumbnail performs the best, it will switch that to your main thumbnail automatically such a good feature i want it oh my gosh i want that so bad <laughs> it's shameless i'll steal big wick content creators thumbnails to the bone let me let me give you an example i ain't shame either I'll, I'll do it too i've done it my uh my supporters who are in the supporters channel and discord you know i'm about the show well you may not but I've been posting my thumbnails to my supporters just to show them what I'm doing. Let me sh let me show you an example of a thumbnail where I just was heavily influenced by somebody else. One of the earlier ones. Here's one. Look at this. So let me talk about a couple techniques in here, right? The, the number one thing I stole um, was basically using chroma key to create this, this depth of field thing, this depth of effect where you have certain text that's in the front and then certain text that's in the back. It's a very popular technique I learned from sim racers, right? Uh, let me show you, do I have one of sim racing? Oh, here, here's one. This is a Final Fantasy 14 one I did. 
which is a perfect example. This is a screenshot I took of my character out there on the moon. And I basically, I masked out my character on the screenshot and I put the word tomes behind the character with the, with the character in the front like that, right? That's a technique that I learned from, from a lot of big wigs that got a lot of views. And that's when I got serious into like doing chroma key stuff and, and masking stuff. Cause I do this all by hand. I don't go to some AI site and do it. I do it all by hand. So I had to learn how to do that in affinity to get, to get that right. Right. Let me show you another one. Um, Phil. I took a screenshot of Phil. I did the exact same thing. So the, this is when we were talking about titles going to Xbox and, you know, going to PlayStation, whatever. So I took, I looked for a picture of Phil where he just looks sad. Like he just looks unsure. Basically I was looking for a picture of Phil that looked like the emoji right there. Emojis are good too. Putting emojis in your, in your title and your uh, thumbnails can help. This isn't guaranteed by the way. These are just techniques that's that work sometimes and other times they don't work. Um, so I, I chroma fill out. I put the word in behind them so you can know what it is. Is this the, okay. Actually, this is wrong because I forgot the word, the, um, the end of Xbox. I use affinity photo. Which I think is on sale. I'll link you. This to me is the best alternative right now, I think, to Adobe. That's my opinion, though. 50% off uh, add ons at 30% off apps. So you can get it on sale. No subscription. And you can, I can pretty much do everything I do in Photoshop in Affinity. So I, I recommend Affinity Photo. Affinity. You'll save a ton of money and you'll get you'll get the job done. Wanna tell you something else I learned? You see what I'm doing right now? You see what I'm doing right now with the whiteboarding? You ever heard of this guy? If you haven't. He's been on Twitch for, I think, seven years, nine years. This man took over YouTube shorts by taking discussions from his chat and whiteboarding it, drawing boxes, drawing arrows, two boxes, scribbling, drawing a little man, and he's got a voice of gold. So he's pretty much taking over YouTube shorts with these little things, right? He's a great content creator. No, I'm not saying he's, you know, he cheapened his way. He's a great content creator. He says a lot of good stuff. I like him a lot. But this whiteboarding stuff that I'm doing, guess where I got influence for that from? Because I, when I was doing Epic Pen, I was doing Epic Pen stuff with BNN and Hurricanes, right? We were doing, we were, we were doing the Hurricane stuff with Epic Pen, but we didn't do this. So I'm trying this today because of him I ain't ashamed to borrow stuff from people and I'll tell you who I borrowed it from am I doing as good as him not even close but you know what it's fun I like to make lists you may have noticed I make a lot of lists if I wasn't doing whiteboard I'd be in notepad right now doing the same thing He is good, but you can't just create that voice. Luck of the draw on that one. Yeah. He's got a voice of gold. It's just people, they, they, they get drawn to his voice. And then he says good stuff. He says good stuff. You know, general, I like his security advice more than anything. Because he's a former security guy from Blizzard and other security stuff. So he gives good advice regarding security. So that's why I like his stuff. Game dev stuff, I don't have a clue. Like half the time. 
I'm a former QA guy. I don't know about that dev stuff. I just break your software. <laughs> My job is to break your stuff. From Valid Test, by the way. Former NSA. Um, former government. He he did he did uh, security testing on power plants for the government. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't NSA. They paid him to hack into power plants to to uh, reveal their vulnerabilities, and he he quit that job because they wanted him to travel. And I can get behind that because that's why I quit my job a couple jobs ago. They had me traveling 40 some weeks a year. I was like, I ain't doing this no more. I'm out. Bye. You can't talk me out of it. Yeah, pen testing. Yeah, exactly. Um, I need to eat. Crap. How long have I been live? Five hours. Um, one second, chat. I just made I just put in my order to Pink Sapphire King McDonald's whatever I don't know <laughs> practically NSA without a fancy title all right so let me let me see if I can before it leaves my brain um but we had some good discussions today I appreciate you all participating taking time out of your busy Saturday to bark at Buana um I'm very passionate about this stuff. You probably can tell. It's like, I want to do this. Very passionate about this stuff. And going forward, what we can try for like a few weeks or months is uh, less focus on news. Um, I think it's too far ahead. And streamlining the live streaming stuff right and i say streamlining meaning doing it smarter so that it encourage so that we can do variety in a way that doesn't kill me number one uh and that satisfies what you guys want to see at the same time reusable on social media i'm not gonna put youtube on social media which when i do live content i'm always thinking about that anyway so that's not gonna change so we'll do this i feel like you guys had a unified voice on this you want this much more than this, and it makes sense because you're here you're not on youtube you're on you're here so i it makes sense that you guys are saying this but you're speaking with your wallet too, which is louder than not speaking with your wallet. I'm not gonna, I'm not saying <laughs> that I listen to that, but when you, when you throw $70 and say this, I'm like, all right, you really mean that. And when you, ver you throw a thousand dollars and he's like, okay, you must really want me to go play Elite Dangerous. <laughs> Hello, YouTubes. <laughs> All right, so how do we do it? How do we do it? How long have I been on Twitch? 2000, the official is 2007, right? Been partnered since 2010. So we're coming up on year 14 of partnership and Wow.
I need a version number. I want to say 2005. 17 years. So this will be, uh, we'll say, oh, what the heck? Escape does that? Ooh, I didn't know that. Uh, where'd it go? Wait, Escape deleted everything. <gasps> Why do you bring up the, the tray? Dude, these hotkeys are awesome. Hold on. Hold up. I, just, I could just escape and delete. Wait. Huh? Options. Teach me. Eraser. Okay, they don't have escape on there. Control Alt G. Ooh. Okay. Live stream. Version 18. You've been following me for almost 10 years. That looks like V8. Version 18.0. Oh. oh, no, let's go Linux. Let's go Linux. Version 0.0.1.18. Oh, point, oh, point one one <laughs> Okay. Tell me if you agree with point... Wait, hold on. Tell me if you agree with this chat. I think the most important thing for this new live stream initiative Am I wrong? It's my weakest part of all of this. We need a set schedule and every week I need to tell you guys what's going to happen. Yes, got one from Steven. Anybody else? Who else agrees? I mean, you aren't wrong. As, as there is Kashi. We got Buana. Wait, let's make mine special. I am the golden child. No, I'm the blue child. Okay. Buana has gone live 1.42 a.m. All right, s'mores are spoken. Dag is spoken. It depends. That's a that's that's a shaky question. There, there's one. A schedule more so than saying what's going to happen. IMO. Yeah, there's two parts. I'm sorry, I miss I misstated that. Yeah, so the schedule is going to be like a time and day. Time and day. That's going to be the number one thing, and then, um, the next thing after that is like what I'm playing, like what's going to be that day. So. Um, I think that's got to happen. I was, what's going to be that day? I wrote it too. What I'm playing. Let's play it. If you're going to keep to it, that's the thing. Keeping it is important. Like committing to a schedule is one thing, but keeping it is one. And the thing is, the things I've been going through lately has been really affecting my sleep schedule. But I think I'm normalizing it a little bit now. Um, and it's got to be committed to to the point of where, and this is where I learned from other creators that I, I'm bad at, that if I can't make the stream, to just cancel the stream for that day and come back the next day when I can, instead of not being able to make the stream at that time and then streaming at 3 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> Agreed? Yeah. I think I think that's I think that's I think that's accurate. Don't do extra hours. All right. Let's talk about that because that is difficult. <laughs> it's, 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 it's almost like adrenaline. 
you get into a groove the chat's popping you guys are feeling it i'm feeling it you get all this adrenaline from all the support and everything and then it's time to stop and you got all this energy what do you do it's hard man it's just hard no no donations within a half hour at a time did you like twice a day shorter streams or did you forever go um for a while i did but it was harder to keep Two a day streams are harder to maintain than one a day streams are. For me. I really like the idea. I've tried it like three times and I I just it's always something that happens that like it's hard for me to even keep that up for a week before something comes up. Mainly because of this. Also, subathons and golathons ruined it too. Because those usually were sleep schedule destroyers. I think people who stick to a schedule don't do as many goalathons, subathons as I do. So uh, we might have to do less goalathons. But this is going to be something that I got to be careful about because I need to remind you guys. You guys got lives, right? You got you got stuff you got to do every day. You're not gonna be thinking about Buana every day. So it's my job to kind of, my wife told me to stop using the word bug, but I need to remind you guys about just the need. And if you can or can't, that's fine. But some people just, they get caught up in their day to day, in their lives. And it's just like, I just need to remind you guys. And Golathons were a good way of doing that because every stream during the Golathon, I was talking about the goal like 10 times. All the other streams throughout the month, I'd never bring it up. Like I just don't, I don't talk about goals. I don't talk about incentives. I don't talk about, I thank you guys for coming and thank for the support, but I never talk about, I need your money. Because to me, I want to limit that as, I want to limit that as much as possible. I don't want the entire, all my streams to be begging for money. Cause I hate as a viewer, I don't like seeing that either. But I do, re I did realize that if I didn't say anything, people wouldn't know. So we've got to come up with a way to do less golathons and ooh. ending after a set time seems to work well for the streamers. It help with physical and mental health. Also may encourage people to return because the content is to be continued. Well, Lord Vader has spoken, so I have to um, I have to abide. Man, Tangi is getting better with that stuff. Okay. Thank you, Dear Blaze. I appreciate that. Sega! Consider the shifting live streams this week. Did it cover a wide enough range to check viewer counts? Um, I can check. We can look at Sully Gnome real quick. For the last week, um, there's three, maybe four factors in here that we got to look at. Uh, the first is the amount of time streamed. We, we did eight hours Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 10 hours Friday, and we were on track to do eight hours today. That usually helps the peaks get higher when you stream longer. So that's factor number one. Factor number two is Helldivers is doing great for me. It's doing better than most other things. Um, and we've been playing that pretty much every day. Uh, factor, did I say two? Factor number three is um, the time, which you mentioned. So my time slots for the calendar here.
starting on Wednesday, we were at reasonable times. Kavion, thanks so much for the support. Chat shows a lot. Appreciate it, dude. So starting on Wednesday, we started like 1030 a.m. We went to 7 p.m. So these are like reasonable times. Then we went noon to 915 and then 1230 to 1145. So these are reasonable times um, for all time zones. And I like this time slot. You guys like this time slot? We can continue with it. I like the noon to whatever time slot. Um, I know some of you work during the day, but I like it. Uh, but before that, I was 4 a.m., 4 a.m., 6 a.m., uh, 2 a.m., 1 a.m. So the time slots did help. Hell Divers helped, and the length of streams helped. So what we can do, given that information, is we can do a minimum of six hour streams, maximum of eight hour, right? So our official schedule can be 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern. If you guys are cool with this schedule, I mean, we don't have to do this, but Some people prefer to watch it work. Some people can't like time slots like now, which is 8 p.m. Some people like this. So we can even do like 3 p.m. To 9 p.m. Which I think we'll get more of the West Coast in here. This used to be my old schedule in Marvel Heroes days for that reason. Oh, crap. You can't see that. Um, ultra wide. First word prop. First world problems. Hold on. Let me just delete everything. So let's just talk about schedule. Schedule. So we can start at noon, or we can start at 3 p.m., or we can go back to our 6 p.m. start time. So this will take us to 6 p.m. You guys will probably be at the work, and you get here towards the end. This one will take us to prime time. This one will take us to midnight. Right. Out of these two, I like, I mean, out of these three, I like these two the best. Now, with that being said, let me tell you something that, um, that you have to also have to look at. Let's, let's pretend like we're playing Hail Divers too. Let me know where I'm going with this. Look at the peak viewers during these times. So, uh, this average. I can't find the. Oh, that was two. Oh, channels. Okay, so this is viewers. So if I were to go down to like. Okay, that was way too far back, sorry. Um, you look at the times of day. I just... So at the low peak, it's at 5 a.m. And at the high peak, it's at 1 p.m. So the most amount of people are watching Helldivers around noon. So going back to my schedule here, if I decide to start at noon, I'm going to be working against the Twitch viewership in terms of growth um, on my start time. So that's just something you consider when you pick a start time. You got to look at uh, multiple things. You got to look at when your community can watch, which I think is the most important. You should always put your community first, but when the community can watch. And then second is not at uh, non-peak times. And you try to find a cross section of that. Right. So you guys who have been with me for a long time, how many times have I asked in Discord what time slots work for you guys? Probably I do that twice a year. I always ask my community when you guys can watch, you guys say, I can watch at work, I can watch at home, I can do this and I can do that. And I consider that versus the non peak times of the games that I play. Right. Um, 
And then there's just like my personal preference. Like, I don't want to do a 3 a.m. stream if I can help it. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, it depends on what's playing. Like, last week, it held divers time and later time slot late afternoon to allow for viewer and game interaction. But that also is a double edged sword. Yep. It varies. So it's like, that's why I respect people like Lyric, who has kept a 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. schedule for 4,000 years. Like that, and he takes Thursdays off. Thursdays off. That is, I'm telling you, man, that's one of the reasons why Lyrics is so successful is that he is just ironclad with his freaking schedule. Does not change. Doesn't, doesn't waver at all. It's 12 to 6. Every single freaking day, except Thursdays, right? And that's hard to do. Especially when games come out at midnight. You know how much I, I used to do those. Games come out at midnight, games launch. Literally like, no, I'm playing at noon. Playing at noon, playing at noon. So if you're going to keep to an ironclad schedule, you got to be disciplined. Like, hardcore discipline, man. You got to stick with it. You got to stick with it, man. Otherwise, you're going to end up like one of them. For real, man, I can tell people what not to do versus what to do in a lot of situations. Like, don't do what I did. Don't do what I did. I can. I got so many stories like, don't do this, don't do that, don't do this. Don't. Like my YouTube channel, don't do what I did with my YouTube channel. I mean, there was no way I could know that was going to happen, but don't do 700 things ranging across all aspects of tech on one YouTube channel. It's the worst thing for your channel. Like, don't do it. Little did I know that the algorithm would be the way it is. Um, okay, so we can start at 12 p.m. or 6 p.m. Uh, we'll have to make that decision. I'll, I can put a poll up on Discord. And we can kind of see where the community stands on it. And then we can use that to make a final decision. And then duration will be... Uh, Minimum six hours to, to eight. I mean, here's the thing. I can do six to eight hour streams if I'm not doing a lot of stuff offline. Like if I'm not doing the editing that you guys said you don't want me to not. I mean, rephrase that. That you said you guys said it's not a high priority. Like all the YouTube editing and the thumbnail making. If I'm not doing that, then I can do six to eight hours. I can. But if I got to do a, a six to eight hour stream and then I do an additional four to six hours of that other crap, that's when it destroys me. It, ab it absolutely destroys me. So this is coming in with the premise that the YouTube content is going to get reduced quite a bit than what I've been doing the past week. This live is keeping this good sleep schedule and going into that no tech time, uh, going into your sleep schedule. Yeah. So that's a Buona thing that with health, with life choices that I'm making, with certain life choices that I'm making um, for the better. Uh, uh, bedtime consistency is a goal of mine. But if you've been dealing with health issues, anybody here? You know, sometimes I can't spell consistency. Consistency. We're going to pretend that's it. Uh, bedtime consistency. Sometimes if you're like not feeling good or something happens and you're up all night, you know, that just happens sometimes. Um, so that can, that can cause, that can cause some issues there as well. What are your thoughts on doing a couple streams from 12 to six and then others at six to 12, that can be too hard for you. Uh, oh, you mean like doing two streams per day or doing different times during the week? You mean like do like 12 to 6, like Monday and Tuesday, and then do like 6 to 12 
on Thursday and Friday and that kind of thing? Or you mean doing two streams per day? Different times during the week? I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't thought about that. That's a good question. Actually, haven't thought about that. I haven't thought about that. Um. Hmm. I guess I, I throw that back at you guys. Would you guys, would that confuse you? Would that help you? So we're talking about like different schedules per day. My R's are stuck. Or my N's suck. R and N's. Different schedules per day. I could see like a weekend schedule, like a weekday versus a weekend schedule. I can see that being a thing. Like the weekend schedules would be during the day and the weekday schedules would be at night. Your streams are super cozy and I, I enjoy lurking here no matter the content or time. Thank you, Marky. I appreciate that. That's really nice of you to say, man. Thank you. Aw. 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 That's not a B, that's a heart. I can't make a heart. Wow. So weekend during the day, so we could do like a um a twelve to a twelve to six during the weekend. Or I can do actually let me let me write this down. So weekend can be oops. Weekend can be let's say twelve to eight. Longer weekends and then Weekday, weekdays can be um, six to twelve a or six six to twelve a.m. I'm going to work. I'm going to do this for work. That's simply not super healthy. If it's something that demands a time shift, as I run my sleep schedule around my work time. Yeah, that's that's why I'm like looking at this going. Like make the end times close so my body can adjust and wind down. That might be too big of a gap though. Yeah, I, I hear you. Keeping a consistent sleep schedule means ending on time. Right. I personally like the same schedule. I know Shogun goes live from seven to ten Eastern about every day. Sometimes I practically join just before the stream. Right, so okay. Yeah, the consistency definitely helps. It definitely helps. It definitely helps. Um, but I can tell you, though, as a streamer, we love lurkers. We love lurkers. Um, but if we had to prioritize... We would prefer times where people can interact versus when they can lurk. So what I'm saying is, is that if you like to watch at work, but you can't interact as much versus when you're at home and you can watch when you're at home and interact more, the streamer prefers the interaction, but we love lurkers. Don't get me wrong. We absolutely love lurkers, but if we had a choice, we would prefer you interacting. Right. So just keep that in mind. Like if you love to watch at work, but you're quiet 90% of the time, that's fine. And there may be others like you, 
and uh we have very little interaction but you like to watch and listen which because it's cozy and stuff that's cool but if i had the option of you being that way or you actually being able to talk a few times a day or be more interactive i'm going to take the, the latter right i'm going to take the interaction that's just how streamers think they're not going to admit that to you a lot of streamers aren't going to admit that to you but they prefer interacting streams versus lurking it just you feed off the energy of chat so when you when you feed off the energy of chat it's just easier to maintain a level of stuff right already oh you mixed them with the green beans wait hold on chat I wanted my wife's world famous lentils and she left them off the plate. <laughs> I'm like, wait, where are the lentils at? <laughs> She's laughing because she forgot to put them on there. Chat, don't, don't, don't call PETA or whatever. What, what's the society of canceled streamers? Don't call whatever. I'm just joking. She's just laughing. She just forgot to put them on there. You know, I was, I was craving her lentils. So. Making bomb lentils lately. Yeah, noms are here. Noms are here. Okay, so schedule, live stream. Hold on, let's put this back up here. Live stream version 0.0.18. No. Dot one dot eighteen. Okay. So the first thing is schedule. We got some discussion around that. And the next thing is the bane of my existence game oh no oh no oh no what us gonna do what us gonna do oh man 12 p.m or six start. We gotta decide between those two. As of today, remake 14, Helldivers 2. As you finish one, you replace it. Um are you suggesting I record the 14 videos live? Like I did with the uh, Shadowbringers. So to summarize, I'm as better for health, a sleeping schedule to keep everything consistent. I, I got you, Kashi. Yep, I understood. And I agree. I'm just giving a starting point. Oh, okay. I thought you were suggesting that. All right. So, and then seven remake uh, or rebirth. That's a long game. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish that ever. What happened? Oh, okay, I thought something happened. Uh, HD2 is also, that's like a 500 hour plus game because it's that good. So we got to be careful with those. So when you say when you finish those, get another one. This may never, these two may never get finished. <laughs> they may just continue forever. I know some people don't have a problem with that. Um, but they are, yeah. Okay, I agree with you. I can get rid of that one. We can get rid of that one. Um. So what will we replace it with? Like, what's the plan after that? Um, oh, 
Fallout London is in April. So maybe that. Yeah, this is April. This is a ways off. What what's a game you want to go back to? Uh I racing. <laughs> Gotta talk about it every day. But it may not fit. It may not fit here. I might this is what I'm considering. Based on what you guys are telling me, like I'm considering just doing sim racing off stream as a hobby. Treat like a hobby. And don't do any streaming of it. Like for real. Like do it as something independent of streaming so I can actually relax to it and Okay. Yeah, I just burned myself. I got it. I didn't grab the whole bottom of it. Oh. Um I'm I'm considering just doing racing just like as a non stream thing so I can do it as a way to relax. But I can't I can't think of anything that I want to go back to just yet. Uh probably tribes. There's gotta be a easier way to erase all this. Oh my gosh. Probably tribes. Tribes three. But I don't I don't I don't do nuvo about that. I don't I don't do nuvo. I don't I I can't even do it. I don't do nuvo do nuvo about that. I don't know. I don't do nuvo. Uh League of Legends? What are you crazy? Uh Tribes 3, I want to go back to at some point. Um, but the new ball. Hey Born on Chats, I'm new to your stream, but have seen your stuff in the past. Love your new segment. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Solace. Appreciate that, dude. Thanks for coming by and letting us know. Lol, would we'll turn anything to a cut stream. Nothing stop you from going into Discord and chilling free time while playing racing or whatever it is. Yeah, there yeah, the only thing stopping me is time. And the thing here's the thing about Discord. Um, we've got a very shy community, and I'm okay with that. You know, so if people come in there, I'll do it, but it may not be a good use of time if nobody comes in there. You know. Cause I, I used to do that all the time. I used to play like games that uh, I just stream them. Sometimes one person would pop in, sometimes they wouldn't, but no pressure or anything like that. Um, but definitely I agree with, with HD2 um, as being something to do. Final Fantasy VII Remake, if we can finish it, or Rebirth. Uh, I don't know. See, but Smores, you want to see that. But I don't know who else does. Because there's people, there's a couple people that they have said this stream that they're not watching because they're waiting for all three games to come out. So they're just going to, they can't watch. So there's a bunch of people that just can't watch. Um, And there's other people that just don't want to watch it, right? And as a streamer, I worry about that stuff. I know you guys like, well, just play what you want to play. Dude, if it was that easy, everybody would stream. Yeah, you put this list out there and I'm just I'm coming up with for and against reasons. I'm not telling you to stop doing what you're doing. But um Yeah. Does this is a focus group talk? I have a negative interest in Final Fantasy, but that's Final Fantasy, not you. I still chill, but definitely check it out. Okay. Foxhole. <laughs> Let me tell you about Foxhole. Oh, oh, oh. Let me tell you about fo whoa boy pull up a chair Woo! let me tell you about foxhole let me tell you about foxhole let me tell you about the whole of foxes Woo! screaming foxhole is a thing Like for real. 
it's it's a challenge because there's this whole thing around streaming foxhole it's just the, the way the best way i can describe it is that it's a whole thing where the community hates you for streaming now granted there are people that really like your stream there's a there's a section of the community that enjoy your streams they support you there's people that make content and stuff like that but there are people out there that will despite you for doing it they will hate you you can have everything hidden on the stream you could be doing logic in the back of lines they will hate you and they will tell you that they hate you It's like Eve times 10. Like my regiment doesn't, they don't care if I stream. My regiment doesn't care. It's just the rest of the wardens. They just, they crazy, man. Why do you think most streamers are collies? Collies don't care. Yeah, that guy got kicked. He got kicked with the, with the quickness. But I still, Foxhole was one of those games that I played off stream, like right before bed. I would play Foxhole and I would do like my daily chores, like you guys do with MMOs. And it would take me like an hour, maybe an hour and a half. And I still do that today. Um, I absolutely love Foxhole. They're coming out with a new update. But the new update announcement is coming out Tuesday. Um. Oh, well, I mean, we didn't talk about this. What about live events? You guys are just still down with that, right? Like games awards and Sony events and Microsoft events and that kind of stuff. Post streaming. I'm assuming you guys are still down with that. Okay. React content? Hmm. The slippery slope with like news stuff. I don't know about React. So what what happened with Asmon? I just realized somebody said that about him. Hold on. What happened with Asmon? Apparently he's getting canceled again. He's like the 14th time. He gets canceled every month. He gets canceled every month. Play this video he put on. Oh, he's doing that. Okay. Never mind. I'm getting too old for games. I'm gonna go become a sim racer. chicken grief like oompa loompas dancing in my mouth break dancing citrus oh wow that is really good 
Apparently, the sponsor stream of Dogma was bad. Anyone know anything? No, I, I don't know. Okay. So, I will be the champion of clean streams and fun for new releases, live events. Um... Clean streams and fun and events. Um, starting with what we've been doing, Final Fantasy VII Remake, Helldivers 2. And um, what do you guys, how you guys feel like, I know some streamers do like a sub sun, uh, not sub sun, yeah, sub Sunday. We tried sub Sunday, but it didn't work out too. Well. Uh, but I do want to do like one day a week where we try a new game. For a couple hours or so right it could be an indie game or something like that. it didn't have to be it didn't have to be like uh a... i was thinking about food join the stream and here you are eating <laughs> sorry i've ever tried dark tide um Think so? I did Vermintide. Oh, I did play it. Oh, no, I didn't. I have the closed beta, but I don't have any time loaded on it. I don't think I played it. How do you feel about viewer interaction night playing games with viewers? I like it a lot. Um, the biggest reservation I have with it is participation because everybody's adult. You know, we're, we're everybody's busy. So even if I can schedule ahead of time, it may be tough to get enough participation to warrant a recurring event you know that'd be tough to keep going that's the only thing i'm i'm i'm, I'm talking about that's that's, only, that's the only reservation i love playing with you guys it's fine just i know people have they have they have lives and jobs and, and you're sleepy like you get home from work you might play for an hour you're like All right, i'm going to bed boy i'll see you tomorrow I know that. I know that feel, man. I know it. I'm all, I'm down with it. It's fine. Some of y'all, some of y'all work some hours, boy. Some of y'all work some hours. Dark Tide got a complete overhaul since beta has a full 30 point skill tree for builds. Really? Wow. I haven't played it before. That's good though, I'm assuming. Imagine if Dark Tide was like Hell Divers too. Wow. Damn.
Uh... I was addicted to it, then Hell Divers came along. Oh. Helldivers is special. Games like that don't come along. It causes you to shift focus. Heartbeat. Community run factory building game? Huh. I wonder if they have they have a game like that. <laughs> huh? Box, I mean uh, factorial server ink. Hey Jake, welcome. What's my title? I think I've been under the wrong category or title. All right. That's news 3D printing and games. All right, so let me change this to discussing change it even though we're kind of done i'm really curious what the changes are going to be to foxhole coming to major major changes last major change was uh naval bullets Boats. I think those types of games, oh, here we go. Those types of games, um, when you have a community server for like stuff like like uh factorio having one person that's really good at the game helps like somebody who's just really good and they can go wait if we do this we're gonna we're gonna run into this you know? just having that one person gatekeep a lot of dumb stuff that i will do that i will do something dumb um that really helps that kind of stuff if everybody's just like new to the game and we're just kind of trudging along and we just run into disaster over and over again, I think a lot of people will get frustrated and leave. There has to be like, there has to be like hints of success for people to get, keep, stay motivated. So a project manager? Kinda. More like an audit man. He just comes through with a hard hat and be like, what you got there? Oh, okay. This is nice. I like this. I like this. This is good. But you know what? You know what? They have this item called a flux capacitor. Yeah. You should look into it. Yeah, look into it. And he walks away. Then come back for another week.
I'm no pro, but I launched a rocket. I haven't got that far. I haven't gotten. I haven't got nowhere near that far in, in uh, Factorio. I think I got to like brains. I did my brain hurt, and then I stopped. That first Zomboy server we did was so much fun because we were we were it was pure man. We had a lot of new people. It was pure. Nobody. It, it was it was it was just a, a legitimate first experience. That's why it was so good. And we had a lot of motivated people that wanted to play every day. My father's outright addicted to Satisfactory. Oh really? <laughs> Every time I try to play Satisfactory, my computer hates. It just runs. I like I like Satisfactory a lot, but it just doesn't run that well on my computer. For some reason. When I try to stream it, it's really slow for some reason. I like I like Satisfactory. I wish it. I wish you could do multiplayer in that, but it's like it's got that co-opy multiplayer instead of like a server. You know? I like the idea of servers in this community because we have so many people from different time zones that, you know, may not be able to log in at the same time. So having a server that's always up is really something that I like. You know? The shrouded looks good. Yeah, it did. I remember when it was uh, it was popular. It, it did look good. Have you ever played Spec Ops Align? No, I haven't played that. I know of it, though. Valheim has been fun. Valheim is a great game. It's really good. Hang him. This guy is still learning? Oh, okay. Yeah, I got an email about V Rising. V Rising hitting 1.0. I got that email. I haven't checked it out yet, though. do this um i think this will help us Spec Ops Online, while it has janky gameplay at times, it's story, the best story I've ever seen. It shows the dark, gritty details of wars and effect on the mind. Oh, wow. I didn't know it was that deep. To be honest, I didn't know anything about it. We're just gonna put noon in as a placeholder. Why does I say every Monday? Oh boy, visual. <clears throat> Thursday. This is a game I um 
a game to play on your own time definitely not on stream uh one of them games huh games every oh crap was it Saturday but TLDR her stream started I'm switching to sim racing exclusively how it went I'm quitting sim racing streaming I don't know man at this point I don't know what I'm doing I know I'm getting too old for this and I definitely gotta when we talk about just rethinking the live stream that's where i'm gonna be focusing my efforts i just i can't keep doing the things the way i'm doing Really did a number with this chicken. I she did some citrus stuff. I don't know what this is. But my mouth is dancing. That looks better. Want to eat too much, especially since we're winding down. So, tomorrow, I'm not leaving right now. Just thinking about future streams. We're going to focus more on games than um, just chatting. Okay? The people have spoken. Less of this. The people have spoken. I'm not going to give it up. Don't worry. It's going to happen still, but we got to print more of our super credits. We got to print more of our Helldiver super credits. Can't have that. Yeah, we gotta we gotta print our own money. So, Helldivers 2 and Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. Um, going to be the two main games for the foreseeable future. And we're going to be throwing more here and there. But tonight... I think it might be time for democracy. I've eaten food. Don Trail when it launches. I don't even want to think about that yet. <laughs> I don't. 
I don't even want to think about it. Say hello to democracy. Don't even want to think about it, man. Okay, so with all that being said, um, figure out what to do. I'm gonna do this. So, I gotta change titles in 12 different places. One down, seven more sites to go. Go over to YouTube, change the title there. Oop. Gaming, I don't die. Thumbnail. Save. Thumbnail one down. Change thumbnail. No divers. Two vertical. Boom. Boom. Save. Live dot space. My last stop. Live dot space. Uh, studio. And then. it to gaming Dave. okay all titles have been successfully changed sir oh i need to download this i was gonna forget this tool that uh obsidian yeah i think i i think i have bookmarked this already but i'm gonna do it again I'm gonna be like, what was that tool you guys were talking about in chat? I don't remember what it was. It had something to do with like, what you? Oh, please. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. How's the vertical streaming going? It's not. Um, it's actually going pretty slow. Like, I, I almost didn't do it today because as, I think I've been doing it for like oh two weeks, and. I haven't been looking at the analytics at all, but I noticed my YouTube, I, I, I mean, I haven't been looking at the analytics of the vertical, but the, the normal YouTube stream has not budged. So I'm being patient with it, but it doesn't seem like it's doing a whole lot right now. And it is new, so I don't expect drastic things to happen. Um, but I am kind of disappointed in it. Not gonna lie. And it's, it's doing a number on my machine too. So it's like, it's not cheap. Taking a good, a good amount of resources. But I think, I think the problem may be... This is just being new. People haven't been prosperity, liberty. Haven't been noticing live streams on the short speed on their phones Democracy. as much. 
Like it took a while for it to show up on mine, and I was looking for it. Hello. Hello. I was looking for it, and it was hard to find. And then I finally started seeing live streams. I was like, oh, okay. Ooh, medals. Just got paid. Hell diver. Shut up. The terminate control. <laughs> what does the superstore got? Oh. oh. Increases initial inventory and holding capacity of stems by two. That sounds good. Further reduces recoil when crouching or prone by 30%. Ooh. Increases initial in inventory by holding capacity grenades by two. Ooh. Both of these sound good, but my super credits. I managed to catch it the last three. It might be YouTube shenanigans again, just not telling people at times. Oh, okay. That's good to know. Ooh. Join Buana's live stream for an action-packed adventure in Helldivers. Be a hero. Save humanity. Don't miss it. Tune in now and dive into the action. See you on the battlefield. Thank you, Jared Blaze, for the 50s, dude. Tangia. Awesome, awesome. Oh! <laughs> Just print more, right? Oh, these are good, though. I have eight hours. Only eight hours to make 100 super credits. I really want the medic one. More so than the grenade one. Oh, man. Wow. Print more forehead. Oh, we got 11K. I think I can get the... Nope, I can't get any of these. Oh, I'm getting the wrong thing. Uh, 11K. Yes. You may. Grenade Lentiel. Um, this is the guard dog with uh, AR. I think we're going to do one of the sentries. Auto cannon. Print. All the things. Oh, yeah. Ha! <laughs> Keep in mind, new war bonds cost a thousand SC. Ah. Yeah, I, I, I keep I keep that in mind. Like the last the last war bond came out. I was short like 70 SC because I kept buying stuff. <laughs> print old freedom never sleep they'll go to a cold planet you said with the uh this gun i gotta spend my medals what am i gonna spend my medals on hmm i don't know perhaps this guy i think we've got everything on the first page yeah um Punisher Plasma? Should I just knock that out now? Or I could get some, uh, I guess I get a hundred SC and buy that delicious, uh, delicious medical armor. Has anyone used the sun grenade yet? Is it good? It is good? Hmm. Decisions, decision. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. Now we got thirty nine left. I think I'm going to go back to the other battle pass. I got to get stuff here.
Increases thorn range by 30%. 50% limb health. This thing has a robotic arm. That's cool. I just noticed that. Does the stun they take out the bug holes? Probably doesn't. Yeah. Generary name. Um, that's a nade suit. Whoa! $50 super chat from uh, Nixio. Thanks so much for the support. Chat show Nixio some love. Appreciate that. <laughs> SC on me. Thank you. Okay. So am I getting $50 worth? <laughs> Yeesh, okay. Let's do it. How much is $50 super credits? That's a lot, chat. Oh, I can't show this. Hold on. You get you can't get two of these. No. I gotta get them one at a time. Thank you so much, Nick. You'll appreciate it. That is really generous of you. See, just print more. <laughs> oh gosh. All right. Add funds to your Steam wallet. Cool. Cool. Thank you, Nixio. That is really, really generous of you. Thank you. That's two fifty dollars in the row. Wild. Wait, continue transaction. I'll have to go back to Purchase error. I have the Steam overlay enabled, don't I? Oh, wait. I think I have the Steam overlay disabled. Hold on. Well, how am I seeing this? Okay. So let me cancel or continue transaction. Fun. Okay. So I added fun. I think I'm doing things. Okay, there's the money in my. Okay, so I got it in there. Your fellow hell divers rage against the enemy's tear. I gotta start off with the transaction Kill anyway. Them. Okay. Um. So now I have the funds in my wallet, and go to here, here, buy that. Oh, here, here. I'm clicking the wrong stuff, chat. All right. Authorize. Did I hit it? Did it work? Confirm. Authorize. Try again later. They don't want to take my money. Shut up and take my money. Something's wrong. Oh wait! The hour of our next victory rapidly approaches. It's a Steam family view Let thing. Us Hold on. the galaxy of alien scum. I think this family, yeah, this family view thing is doing something. How do I get out of that? Yep, that's what's going on. Had the family view on. R credits. It popped up immediately. Purchasing error. Unable, unable to finalize your purchase. Please try again later. And that pops up even before. I, all right, let me, I'm gonna relog. Something weird happened. I'm gonna relog real quick. Oh wait, it might work now. Did it work? I think it worked. Back out, come back in. Didn't work. Nope. Okay, it's not working. I'm going to um, cancel transaction. I'm going to log into the game, see if it fixes itself. 
Because I have the money in my Steam wallet, so that that much works. But the um, I seem to get the uh, super credits in game. I just want to note hauling over eleven thousand tons of tritium in my new uh, fleet carrier, seven hundred and thirty tons at a time, instead of just being able to purchase it from the carrier management window, is the height of gameplay. Just brought back some memories, man. I remember fueling my, I remember bringing a bunch of tritium back to my fleet carrier and that, it wasn't the best memory. It was not the best memory at all. It wasn't the best memory. 11,000 tons of tritium. I definitely should log in and check and see if my, my fleet carrier is still there. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. I think... I have burned through all my credits in that game. Okay. We're going back in. Go to this scene so we don't show stuff. Our credits. Okay, I didn't get the error this time. That's good. Authorize. Hey, item received. There we go. Just had to restart, chat. All right, so that's one. And yeah. We now have a ton of super credits. There we go. 4450. Actually, I get another 10. Hold on. I forgot to get the other 10. $10 one. This one. Otherwise. Got it. Now we're done. Now we're done. That will probably last uh, you a month. Yeah, it's going to last a while. But I'm about to buy everything up in here. Give me this. You. I want both of these suits. I don't know about the helmets, though. Actually, it's a set. Let's go. Big money man, big money maker. Hold on. We're changing clothes. Give me the medic. Medic. This is it. Oh. Whip. And, uh, what's this? Butcher. That was the set, right? I think it was a set. Yeah, Butcher. That's the right one. Got the roll with that super crit encrusted breaker like a true G. <laughs> Print more super credits, chat. Works every time. User. All right, let's go. I got a new suit. All right, where, where are we going? What's our uh thing? Every sector in the galaxy must be I gotta use the flamethrower? No. I hate that thing. Cause I keep burning myself. Oh, we're going to a coal planet now. But a single triumph more, and the operation is complete. Walk backwards and not forward with it. It's usually with hunters, though. I hit a hunter. He catches on fire. And then he jumps on me. And then he catch I catch on fire. 
That's that seems to be my my workflow. So if I don't count the hunters, I'm generally okay. But then I I can't like move and stuff. Uh, where are we going here? Let's start here. Here, here. I hate hunters. All right, we gotta get flamethrower first. Don't forget. Boom. All right, this dude. Uh, orbital laser. Do I do doggo or shield? I'm gonna go doggo. Allied destroyer has joined. Hey, there's a bag. Engaging. Hey, there's a hydro. Chance. Whatever this is, guys. Is, he's level ten, though. Uh, dude. No. Nah. Sorry, man. Nah. We're doing. Wait. There we go. I have to get rid of that guy. We're doing level five. He's, he's gonna die a lot. I really wish you could put like a minimum like requirement like join you can't join my mission if you're level 10 because you're just gonna die all day oh doggo i'd rather deal with a, a bio titan solo than a pack of hunters they are they're very annoying i'm gonna save this for later Come on, let me get my drops instead of uh, having to log into the same stream five times. Oh, man. All right, we're going to get a lot of kills with a flamethrower. Oh man, I see it. Four out of six stems. This is Allied great. Destroyer joining squadron, deploying Helldiver to combat zone. Okay, we're two first. Okay. Dropping a pin, northwest, 100 meters. Deploying equipment package. Watch the thermometer on sickle is stupid. Yeah, that kind of drops fast. That drops pretty fast. Yeah. Activate the pumps. That was actually in game. I thought that was you guys who did that. <laughs> Ooh, fire. Fire burn. I can see these bombs. Rare sample acquired. We have to hit a terminal first, don't we? I'm gonna take care of these here dissidents here. Batched. Okay, cool. Things hurt. Oh. I'm on it. 
I think the doggo might prevent me from getting as many kills as I could possibly get. May have been a bad choice. Bounce in there, come on. Good job. That flamethrower is crazy. Hold that. Dude, my, my, my dog is killing people. Stop killing people. You crazy? Eighteen seconds. Wait, I don't want to cross no water. I might drown. Trying to get me killed, video game. What's wrong with you? Two, one. Changing light. Calling down supplies. Canister's empty. Have I tried a seven yet? No, I have not. I have not tried a seven. I just have done a six. I may be ready for a seven. I may be ready for a seven. Tagging map, oh. south, 300 meters. No, no. Dropping a pin. Southwest, far. Think I'm ready? Okay, cool. 
No, dead teammate. Pumps are online. Coming through, coming through. Funny how I had a lead, not everybody power. caught up with me because they have faster. They've got like stamina boosts and. Scout suits. I'm in my slow medium. Requesting tech back. What am I doing? That's a trap. That's a trap. Map. Southwest, 200 meters. <laughs> Maybe we'll try seven, seven after this, see how we do. It'd be nice to get some, uh, some of those, uh, super rare elements, whatever, our uh, samples. I don't think I've ever done this mission. I mean, physically, like, push the buttons. I've been in them before, and people have done the objectives. Found something. Oh. Shooting. I'm going to be a big fan of this medic suit for a long time. Those two extra stems are going to make a difference. Look out, post. Activate terminal. Requesting air support. Hey. Requesting sentry. Thanks, dog. Fire burns. Fire burns. Fire burns. Oh crap, I'm in other windows. Oh wait, you gotta do stuff. Ooh. Ooh. Oh no. I need scared. 
<laughs> no, that cry. Okay. Forty three have a hundred. Turn all valves as indicated by the terminal. All right, where are the valves at? I only saw one. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Medic students, just for show, you can heal teammates. Yeah. Yeah. Lock the fuel holes to transfer a pump. I've played 60 hours of this and haven't gotten this objective ever. Yeah, this is my oh first my time God, getting it, I think. Say hello to democracy. I think. <laughs> Fuel transport shuttle coming. Here it looks like. Where's that? There he is. There he is. You're gonna do drop a pipe or something? What are you doing? Huh? Oh, he is. I was right. I mean, that animation was kind of off, but. Yeah, let's not use fire. You got the sports for your nice. I'm on it. Dropping a bit. Southeast. 100 meters. Freedom. Extract when ready. Nah. The cape is looking spiffy. Ooh. Why did you like it? Freedom never sleeps. This is a waste, but if I don't use enough him, I'm not going to use it anyway. Yeah, 
Thames. Traders and Port Fryer. Some movement. Doggo's going nuts. You know what? I read it in passing, but that shoot while backing up tip is actually good. <laughs> ah. Oh, I wasted this down. And I got booped. Sweet liberty, my arm! Fifty-seven out of a hundred. Any commons over here? Ugh, give it. Need all the commons. All the common samples. Give me more. Give me more. I'm okay.
60 what i looked at my the count for half a second no <laughs> wow did i burn to death i like i said i killed myself wow point me to the enemy My doggo. ETA T minus twenty seconds. Rear sniff required. Have a good one. How'd you like the taste of freedom? ETA T minus ten seconds. Clear landing zone. My doggo. Hear me. Aim with that thing, man. Pretty good. This Pretty good. This video game. I gotta give it to you, boy. I'm gonna get this guy because he's looking at me funny. This yep, he was looking at Yeah, push. Pelican 1 preparing to depart. Shuttle launch in 20 seconds. Extraction complete. Pelican 1 beginning ascent. Liberty has seen you through. Oh, I forgot. I need to, um, I gotta get my uh, suit now. I forgot I hit level 25. Oh, I completely forgot about that. I think I needed uh, requisitions last time I looked at it. That thing. Can't wait to use that thing. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Ooh, everybody's leveling up. I'm scared of you guys. Of war. Okay. Well done. Oh boy. I need twenty thousand. Oh, I had oh dude. I spent that stupid thing on the century. I could have got the H eight. No. I'm sad. I'm actually sad. I had enough earlier and I could have got it. I mean, if I were to save what I had earlier plus what I got just now, I would have been able to get it. Oh. Mission coordinates locked. All right. Permanent locked. swarm. So. Engaging orbital. Flight. I'm going to get turrets. Orbit synchronized. Can't wait for the APC and no more walking. They conf that's confirmed. Really? I didn't even know about that. That's cool. All right. Turns out turrets we've never used before. Give myself a shield this time. You can use the shield and the, uh, can't use the shield and flamethrower. Yeah, you think there was a gun. Yeah. There it is. Find it. Launch I hope this has high ground where I can put this HMG gun. So I can like 
Obi-Wan them. You just can't use the doggo and shield at the same time, right? Because they're backpacks, right? I got Ooh, here we go. Let up there. Right up, Chow. Can I get up here? Who can I please let me get up here? Please, please. Oh. Oh, yeah. This is going to be great. Uh, my first time calling this den. Calling down fortifications. You can't get up here. Requesting advanced weaponry. Requesting tack pack. Oh yeah. Look at it go. Roll out the barrel. Feel it in your bones. What's fun? Reporting to the front. All right, let's get my flamethrower kills. This is dangerous with mortars, but you know what? I'm here to help you, son. I, I warned you. I warned you about those mortars, Borna, but you wouldn't listen. You just wouldn't listen. really cools off fast i can't get used to this there's no way i can get used to this because i'm gonna go to the hot planets and be like and this gun sucks again oh mines are over here Mortar gets another one, chat. Perfect timing, man. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, what's funny, dude? He's like... <laughs> oh, oh, there's my... Oh, he's... That's it. Oh, man. 
That was good. Get some! Get some! <laughs> Terrible at the reinforcement. funny. <laughs> like, that dude was giggling too. He's like, <laughs> dead. Oh, that was good. I was killed by my own mortar. <laughs> uh, mortars or something else, boy. Personal order completed, thanks to Welcome Kashi. Aboard, Helldiver. The Galactic War needs you. Wait. I grab. Uh, I got to scroll the mouse wheel all the way down. Darn it! Oh, it's twenty thousand, not ten. Your fellow Helldivers rage against the enemies of tyranny. Do it, ma'am. Geological survey. Mission coordinates locked. Hell pods primed. Dun 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 dog and um i want eat want to recoil it i'm not recoil this because i already have a shield you know what let's go let's go with star war i miss star war let's go star war star war to this time for the daka daka Once me and my squad all roll double mines and we end up looking down more than up. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll definitely do it. The fate of all humanity's children are in your hands. Do not let I hate when I mess up the very last one. Oh. I'm looking at these monsters and I'm getting nervous.
Oh. Sorry. Sample acquired. Nice. Requesting sentry. Calling down a walk. Tagging map. Northwest. Far. Look at that wall, who's boss? That will leave a mark. I love the way the Star Wars Southwest. sounds, man. I'm on it. Point me to the enemy. I'm on it. Sample collected. Hmm. Have I tried on high RPM yet? No, let me try that. I haven't tried it yet. Try on high RPM. Oh, stalkers. 
Okay, this stalkers. thing is gonna churn through bullets. Got a sample. Dropping package. Package acquired. Man, you guys got good eyes. Walk on these package islands. Dropping package. Oh, we haven't done that objective yet. My bad. Package acquired. Dropping package. Ooh. Oh, big circle. Where is it? Oh, there it is. There. Calling it down. <laughs> I love that. I love that call down so much. It's just like execution style. It's just like, oh, you're dead. Orbital rail cannon. Guaranteed splat. Fun fact, apparently if you dive in, you can use your body to close the hole. I found that courtesy of a mortar playing mini. <laughs> playing mini golf. Okay. All right. That works. What did that? Reinforcing. The heck was that? How did I die? That, that's a map bad on that one. I just heard boom. Yeah, the Point arc, the, uh, the arc launcher can be. Uh, yeah. Mission at thirty minutes remaining. What is the notification just popped up? There's a new version of ShareX. Calling down a sentry. Or we can walk on these islands. Find out. Yeah, we can. These high RPM. High RPM stalwarts. Pretty good. Pretty good.
Man, this feels like a totally different gun. Feels like a totally different gun when you uh, put it on high RPM. Did we climb this? Really messed up if we couldn't. The longest backtrack in the history of man coined. Uh, I have not. I've not tried that yet. Bug out post spotted. Prepare to exterminate. Found something. Where is it at? I won't throw in the wrong spot.
Oh, nothing there. Boo! Nice, nice. Orbital inbound. Engaging terminal. Tunnel breach. Heavy north. This is probably going to be my last one because we're, uh, we're approaching eight hours really fast. And um, I didn't actually think I'd be able to stream this long, but adrenaline, you know how it goes. Because uh, yesterday's long stream, I uh, woke up a little tired and I was like, oh, okay, we'll do like a six hour stream today. <laughs> yeah. Adrenaline. All adrenaline. Wait, did we hit this already? A flash. I'll go double check. Kind of bright over here. 
Yeah, if you check the mini map, uh, if it's a marker, then we took. Yeah, we took the mini. Okay. Ooh, dude. Location. Never mind. Bugs. South. Get some. Get some. Yeah, that's been flashbang. How's it feel? I <laughs> looked over there like, oh, that's a missile.
Countdown initiated. Stand by for takeoff. Extraction complete. Pelican one begins. Nah, to nah, nah, nah. Alrighty. Today you carved another foot. What a day. Great day. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys, for coming out tonight. We'll be back tomorrow with some more of this and uh, some some Final Fantasy VII remake. So we'll see a little bit of a change in priority and just what we're gonna do. Probably gonna start with uh, I like ending with Hell Divers for some reason. So we'll start with Final Fantasy VII Re Rebirth and then um, and then we'll do uh, and then we'll do more Hell Divers. Thanks uh, for Dag and, and uh, I was going to say Ravana Star and uh, Kashi for coming through and helping me with the missions. Enjoy those those requisitions and also the medals. Spend them wisely. So we're going to try to start around noon tomorrow. I'm going to try that out. Um, I should be able to get to bed in the next couple hours, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. So we'll be back uh, tomorrow. And thanks so much for the big, big contribution contributions today. We jumped from 21% to 53. Yeah, from 21% to 53% in one day. It was a huge jump. So thank you so much, everybody, for helping. That's going to help us a lot because, yeah, has left squadron. for reasons we have said before and we'll say again, you guys are coming through right on time. So thanks so much for being awesome. Um, also, thank you to... Uh, Thank you to Nixio for the fifty dollars a day. Just crazy amounts of support to buy some, uh, buy some super credits. We also printed some super credits. Well, hello, buddy. If you guys saw that, we printed some super credits. They're not valid. They won't make it past muster. Thanks so much for the follow. But we printed these super credits over on our three D printer. Hell divers, super credits. <laughs> That was our 3D printer day. We also printed some chip clips, but they aren't excited to look at. My wife needed some. So we printed some uh, some chip clips. Yeah, I had a lot of fun with that. We had a great discussion about my stream and just where we're going. Oh, actually, I got one right here. This is what they look like. Like little chip clips that you could put on potato chips and dog, dog food bags and herbs, herb bags. So I printed out 12 of these, and we're going to be using them throughout the house. Yeah, these are smaller, but you can scale them however you want. So if I want to make them bigger, I can just, like for the dog food bag, we're probably going to need a bigger one, but that's good for uh, chip size. Um, had a good discussion today and uh, lots of lots of good conversations about where to take the stream and what to do. And just kind of like a state of the Buena Union. We have these every year, sometimes twice a year, where we just see where the stream is and then we talk about it as a community and where we're going to go and all this kind of good stuff. So it was a good, con good conversations, good discussions, real talk, you know, nothing, nothing sugarcoated. We're laying it out. I like how you guys are brutally honest with me and I'm brutally honest with you. And uh, yeah, for the betterment of the community. Um, let's see. Uh, anything else? Yeah, check out the, the latest episode of Final Fantasy VII Remake Rebirth. Sorry, went up youtube today and oh yeah we put up the short the youtube short of me printing the hell diver stuff on my youtube as well youtube.com slash buona if you haven't already go subscribe and you can join the discord the discord.gg slash buona we 3d print here and and polymaker supports us with the polymake with the uh, 3d printing efforts hey, click the like button and uh we printed some hell diver stuff date today but we've been doing all kinds of cool stuff we did a lego lego logo we did Lego logo, Lego logo. I like Lego logos. They're good. So I put that tweet up today on my Twitter at twitter.com slash Buona. Go check it out. All right. See you guys tomorrow. It was a good day today. And uh, going to be even a better day tomorrow. Y'all the best. All right. Take care of yourselves. Have a good evening, morning, afternoon. Look forward to seeing you guys again tomorrow. Y'all the best. Take care of yourselves. Good night. Oh, read another diver stream. Uh, anybody in mind? Hold on. I'm terrible about rating like that. I, I want to get off and I'm just like, ah, oh, bye.
Don't worry about it. All right. We'll do it. We'll look next time. We'll look next time. All right.